Hello, I'm Abyx Toy Cat, and today I have an entire world that is made up of the beach biome, and we're going to be seeing if we can beat Minecraft. But every day or 10 minutes or so, we'll have a brand new challenge that we have to follow for that day, just to make things a little bit more spicy as we go about it. Can we beat Minecraft if the challenge is an absolute beach? Well, that's what we're going to be finding out today. This is one that we have attempted before, and honestly, got very, very spicy in the never, I have to say. Um, and so today it's going to be fun to see what we can do, because the overworld starts really, really nice. One of my favorite part parts, <laughs> one of my favorite uh, parts about any world, really has to be the fact that, yeah, uh, the beach biome has many downsides. The sand, the lack of real resources on the surface, but the biggest upside is by far the fact that you'll find all of these shipwrecks everywhere. Shipwrecks try to spawn in the ocean, true, but they love to spawn in beaches, and because there's so little beach in a normal world, they spawn at a really, really high rate, meaning that we're going to be coming across a lot of these shipwrecks, which means a lot of good stuff. And uh, so yeah, it's going to be a uh, really, really great start to the game if we get some good loot. A couple of trims is not bad loot, but it's not really what I was going for when I, uh, when I said loot, but we'll take the paper anyway. We'll check the second chest, and potatoes. So at least I'm not going to starve, and even better, I'm going to be able to drink some suspicious stew. Fun fact, you'll be able to drink suspicious stew uh, even when you're not hungry, like I am right now, after the next Minecraft update. I think it's coming out on Tuesday. Um, but for now, until that comes out, we'll have to work with this. And so, yeah, this is a lovely world filled with turtles, shipwrecks, and soon to be my defeat of the Ender Dragon. But first things first, how is everyone doing on this lovely uh, Sunday evening? Or, you know, how is your day of the week going uh, in general? I, uh, is shipwrecks and deserts a uh, bedrock thing? So again, the, uh, the beach biome looks suspiciously like a desert when you scale it up. But uh, the beach biome is a distinct place, which is kind of fun and also useful to know. Um, the only structures that I believe we'll find here in any regularity are going to be shipwrecks and then things that can spawn everywhere. So below the ground, I'm sure there's a mine shaft somewhere. I don't see one. Uh, we might find a ruin if we really are excitable. But uh, yeah, a ruined portal is about as good as we're realistically getting. Um, so uh, with that said, uh, how is your evening? Sorry I'm late, says Eroda. It's good to see you. My evening's been going pretty well. I went to... I, I went to go pick up some uh, reduced price donuts. They were very good. Uh, or rather, you know what? They were better than expected. I, uh, you know, there's a... The great thing about, like, uh, things that are, like, uh, super discounted is you lower your expectations. And so, you know, you keep your expectations tiny. You're rarely whiny. And uh, it, it worked pretty well for me. Like, I've had uh, two of them were okay. One of them was uh, great. And that's that's a win, isn't it? You know, okay is a, is a win for cheap. And great is a, is an absolute smash it out for the park. Um, if you're going to do a single biome world, one of the uh, weird technical biomes would be fun. Like, Jungle Edge or Savannah Plateau. Yeah, I think I would like to do a... Um, a few more single biomes at some point. Also, it is now night time. We have I have not prepared for night at all. I have this, this is my inventory, but we're gonna we're gonna make it work. As uh, we've proven before, if you don't find any beds, which you can't when there are no villagers, the best second place. Also, should we go find a treasure map? Yeah, you, let, let's go see some treasure. Oh, we got a helmet. We got moss. We got a second suspicious stew. And we got more potatoes. For now, we're gonna have to count that as a victory. It's a very, it's a very small victory, but it's a victory if you think about it, or rather if you don't think about it, maybe. Let's jump up here, let's not get ourselves crouched down, and let's jump out. And now let's think about how this is going to go down. I need to sleep somewhere, I mean in general, but especially on this first night, um, which means we're going to be doing our first poll for what will be happening on today, tomorrow's, because this is an interactive live stream as we go. Uh, chat gets to decide. I remember I didn't know what I was doing before and accidentally made a single biome tiger in Java and I was so confused by the world. <laughs> That's funny to imagine playing a single uh, biome and not knowing it and just being like, man, this, this, the biomes are just so big on the Java edition. I don't understand. Also, there we go. Three skeletons and one spider. So if you want to make a bed and you can't find any beds or wool, the only solution that really works is to find spiders. Every For every four string you find, you can make one wool, which means eventually... Oh man, he's already looking at me. Which means if we really, really believe in ourselves, we can get 12 wool or 12 string to make free wool to make a bed. This has worked for me before. It's also gone badly for me before. So I'm going to go in with lowered expectations and uh, see if it works out for me. I had three quarters of a pound of sausage for breakfast, says dude in a room. I was thinking about this yesterday, but the my th the, the best meats are always the ones that are like generic and kind of confusing. And man, I the sausage for breakfast sounds real good. I'm, I'm, 
I'm jealous of your your breakfast. Hope you had many other good breakfasts. Uh, it's good to see you, by the way. Um, dude in a room. I'm, I'm glad to hear you're in a room. If you want to know something crazy, though, I'm also in a room. It might be the same room. I would suspect not, but you never know. It's uh, it's something worth looking at. So I've now got two strength, ten to go, and then we got a bed sorted. Once we got a bed sorted, it's all down to how we can get iron because I wanna I, I wanna zoom through uh, as much of today as we can. I wanna keep the speed going so that when it slows down, um, because of something crazy, I'm at least at a high enough speed. You know, you, you know what I mean. Like if you're gonna hit something on the road, like there's a big there's a big uh, obstacle, you've either gotta slow down not to hit it. Or you've got to hit it at such a speed that it doesn't even feel like you hit something. This is advice of Toy Cat that you shouldn't follow. Speaking of advice of Toy Cat, I think I just I got a really, really nice suspicious stew right there. Healing. Love to hear it. Oh, what a waste. <laughs> I think it gave me some saturation, because I'm 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 doing very well. Got free string. Got got saturation stew. What more do you need? So yeah, getting to uh, getting to sleep is very important. Especially I'm I'm just gonna get poisoned if I let that switch get too close. So I'm just not going to. There we go. That's string number four. We're making progress. I saw a spider there. You know what? Let's go for them. They, they're they too enticing not to. And in fact, there's some uh, there's some uh, stone right next to them. And most of this biome is sandstone. But as is the case with, I guess, deserts too, you will eventually find some stone below them. So if I can just stay alive for all of this craziness, we'll do great. Where's that? Where's that skeleton, by the way? I really don't want to be involved with that. Okay, so I guess the intention of getting... Okay, I'm out. I'm out. No, I'm not out. <laughs> okay, shall I, shall I my spider eyes, chat? I mean, sometimes you're in a situation where it's all you can do. Uh, this is not one of those situations. But we're going to get up to here where we're safe. Going to switch out the food for the other suspicious stew. And I'm going to hope this one is equally as good. Oh, night vision. Wow. Two good suspicious stews in a row. I love a good random... Some, sometimes RNG favors you, and I love I love when it happens. It's uh, the world can feel cruel, but every now and then it's not even that cruel. It's just a little cruel. Okay, so now I'm gonna get back in there and pick up the string that I left, and also try and pick up some stone. It's it's just hanging out right here. Let's let's go for it. Let's do it. Um, to be accurate, spiders should drop multiple eyes, says Xavier. Yeah, you know the weird thing about spider eyes is. What they they shouldn't really be dropped at all, right? Like either that I guess really to be accurate There should be corpses of everything you kill. It's the weird thing about oh, no Okay, okay, that's a spider at least so I now need to mine for some stone to make a sword Because I'm not gonna get by of just wooden swords if they last that little um, Or maybe we're going to have to maybe that's just how we're gonna have to roll. Okay, let's let's jump in to this and Let's just go for it. Let's just Let's just make the thing happen. Ouch, that was a bad idea. This is working for me, though. So as long as I can find some food real soon, uh, we'll be fine. I'll just eat my carrots. Oh, no! Okay. I'll eat my carrots. Um, I'm going to place a block here, maybe. Um, just something. Just just that's good. And then I'm going to sit back here where a spider can't hurt me. Oh, that's not how that works, apparently. I figured it wouldn't be, but then I figured, you know, that's that's silly of me to think that. But it wasn't silly of me to think that. I like the idea of spider eye blocks. Um, yeah, I feel as though Minecraft should take every pointless resource in the game and turn it into some form of block, because it is ultimately a block building game, right? And so they should uh, they should allow you to take advantage of the extra resources you have by turning them into silly blocks. So now we get a stone sword. That's a good deal. Um, and we're gonna heal. And hopefully before the end of the night, get these last spider uh, strings in there. So we have no more of these silly jumping down hole shenanigans. Because I don't want to do this all the time. Maybe I'm weird for that. I was hoping to find some iron by this point. Like, I, my favorite thing in Minecraft is going up a tech tier um, early. You know, skipping from wood uh, to stone or skipping from uh, stone straight to iron. We don't get to do that today. Unless maybe we follow uh, the treasure map. Yeah, if we just if we just go that direction, which is to say that way, maybe we'll find something fun. It's a better idea than I've got right now. Actually, I didn't check out the ship that I was most recently in. We'll check its chests, and then we'll then then we'll go and do it. Unless we can get enough string to go to sleep first. I mean, we are we're on eight string. We are now just critically, ooh, incredibly close to getting a bed. And once we have a bed, all of the pain goes away. You know, like in real life. 
Also, cook your potatoes, says bird for life. Yeah, that's why I, I, I've been cautious to only eat the carrots and not the potatoes. Specifically because later I can turn the, you know, the potatoes into something valuable-ish. Whereas the carrots stay worthless forever. Or I could even farm the potatoes and then make a perpetual source of it. I don't think I'm going to, but I like that I could. So we're going to go to this shipwreck, assuming I haven't already. And we're going to find, see what we get on the way. And we'll be all good. Maybe if you eat a spider eye, you should get the super secret settings view. <laughs> I mean, when you eat a pufferfish, you get something fun. So that, that makes sense to me. Do you have the string drop RNG memorized as a uh, max? Yeah, zero to two. Uh, so that means you can get zero, one, or two, with one being the average, I guess, the most likely outcome. But uh, getting zero and just getting spider eyes is depressingly common. Honestly, the number of spider eyes you get when you don't want them, it's got to be the most common unwanted Minecraft drop. Like, I, it's so rare you hear someone say, I want a spider eye so bad, man. Like, at least Rotten Flesh. On these streams, I've proven before, like, well, if you don't have any better food, sometimes, ouch, <laughs> sometimes it's better just not to fall in a hole. If you don't have any better food, sometimes, you know, this, this is a great idea. Also, I have been here, I am guessing, from the, the block that's been removed and the fact that I was in there. So that is a big mistake. I can't believe I made a mistake on my second shipwreck, but I'll, also, I'll, I'll at least take some more spruce planks while we're here. And then hope that some spiders spawn. Imagine a block of big salmon buckets. There we go. You know, it, wouldn't that be great? A salmon block? The A lot of people joked when they made the... Um, I think when they brought out raw copper blocks. Who made jokes that that was basically a salmon block. And I mean, wouldn't it be great if you could actually just craft a salmon block? If the joke didn't have to be a joke but could be reality. You know, all good jokes should be reality. Also, ship base, says Dasher. You ship my base, do you? What are you going to ship it to? What's the, what's the deal with that? Um, basically a desert well without cactus, says HHFF. Yeah, if you... The, the biggest difference between beaches and deserts are that deserts have three unique structures, whereas the beach has one. And the desert has cacti and the, uh, the, that, the, the weird sticky breaky thing, the dead bush. Oh, bad. This whole time, there was iron here. Chat, I've gone through so much pain that could have been avoided. I could have a diamond shovel by now. I imagine I was going to go all the way to that shipwreck when I could have just been right here the whole time. This is a much better leather cap even. The, the sorts of things you don't even think that you care about. You do care about when you get given a good chest of them. And a third chest for six coastal trims. I'm going to... If I find a wandering trader who's got a penchant for shipwreck trims, I'm going to be in a good space. So now I've got enough... Um, I think I'm going to make a iron pickaxe, right? That's the tech upgrade that I'm talking about. And at the same time, we're going to make a bucket. That is the logical two things to make. And then if we've got one thing left, we make a shield. So bucket, that, and that. And then we make two more iron nuggets, and now that's a sword. Yeah, look, look at me. I've gone from nothing, worthless merchant, to iron sword, iron pickaxe, buckets, and even a shield. I am, I am ready for the never now. So I think we should go for a few more shipwrecks first, though. Also, um, today's challenge is no touching or using water. Okay, so that puts a... <laughs> okay, that's clever. You know, good job, chat. I, um... So chat has voted that today I cannot use water, um, which means no fishing, no going in, you know, my boats, not shipwrecks, but boats. And presumably I can't scoop it up because that would be using water. So instead I've got to work out tactically how I can go to the nether... Uh, in a way, world about water. Usually what you do is you find a big pit of lava. I saw one from the light, I think, over there near spawn. Usually you take some water over to some lava and you're all good to go. But instead today I'm going to have to think a little bit more tactically. Um, so if I want to... I'm going to go to a few shipwrecks first, but I'm still going to go to the nether despite not being able to use water. Sounds impossible, but trust me when I say I'm dedicated enough to do it. Um... Also, uh, trail fireworks with diamond. Yeah, that's a good- Oh, you're not HHF? You're right. If I just get myself a creeper, I can make some real cool fireworks. <laughs> no lava until you get three pieces of iron armor, says uh, Tyler Kovaskas. I think iron armor in the nether is one of those real good ideas. Also, yeah, not being able to touch water, surprisingly limiting in a, uh, in a world like this. I- it, it makes sense. In retrospect, but still, something to consider. So we're going to go to make some baked potatoes. I see stone in that cave there. If we find coal, great. If we don't, we can just use shipwrecks themselves. And that will be wonderful. Also, hey, Toycat, hope your day is going. Desert Well, says Brando Raid. 
Hey, it's good to see you. I, I'm glad you're, uh, you're, you're a subscriber, clearly. Um, and uh, I, uh, my day is going desert well. Thank you for asking. I had a bit of a slow start, but I recorded a video. I'm excited for everyone to see tonight. Um, and I've been working on a challenge for a bit now. It's getting, it's getting closer there. It's just one of those, it's, I, if, for people who like silly challenges, later this week it's happening. I, I've, I've been very, very, very happy of the stuff I've been doing on YouTube recently. Again, it takes a lot of, it's been taking a huge amount of, I don't know, like, uh, strain on me, uh, emotionally to make the risks in this way. But I think it's worth it in the end result. Um, if you touch water, hiss like a cat. It's mandatory. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't make any use for water, and if I do accidentally touch it, I've got to go tss, and I gotta run away real fast. It's just, uh, oh wow, that was weird. The, the way that lava picks up on bedrock is just broken. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want it to be broken, but it is just broken. I think we should admit to ourselves. So I've got some flint if I ever find some steel. I've got some nuggets if I need to craft those together. And now I am ready to make a portal. So I see the mustache is staying, says KMB600. What it was is this morning, I just finished the, so I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I only shave in the shower. It's like a, it feels like a waste of a, like I, I, I get mad at the concept of like, oh yeah, you gotta just spend five minutes of your life doing this thing that you don't really feel like. But when you're in the shower, you're already doing things that you don't really want to do. I mean, like I, I like standing in the shower, right? Everything after standing in the shower is like, Okay, I guess if you know you can't you can't live in a society without doing these things, um, and so uh, you know like uh, you 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 getting in this box that you know is gonna be cold when you're done, but the the trade off is everyone else gets in the box where it's cold when they're done, and now we all don't smell and it's it's wonderful for for some. Anyway, um, I'm uh, glad Toycat is uh, embracing his South Asian roots. <laughs> I mentioned it to all my friends. Uh, I, I hung out with uh, a couple of friends yesterday. And none of, them, none of them could see the South Asian. They're like, nah, it just looks like you're a teenager with a bad mustache. And I was like, wow. It's accurate, but still. Um, it's, a, it's a real important point. Also, you can, but others won't want to live with you. I mean, I guess that's the funny thing. Like, uh, here I was thinking, like, if you go on public transport and you smell, you're actively just doing a disservice to everyone else around you. But maybe, maybe you're not picturing it from that perspective. Um, now we're going to craft all of this into dark oak planks. I've got far too many random single stair items. I'm gonna just do one of these. And then, now that I don't need the rest of the ship chat, you know what I can do? Wait, actually, have I gone through this, this little pole? Yeah, I have. I Dude, is four, is four emeralds ever going to be useful? Probably not. But I would regret if it came up that it was. So now, we just do the logical thing. Uh, detonate some lava right over there. And then just go grab it back later. And so now the shipwreck becomes a shipwreck. Wait, I guess like it's already a shipwreck. And there's a yeah, the shipwreck becomes more shipwrecked. I don't know. And now we just work out where we're going to be basing our nether portal. So making one without using water, very hard, just to click clear. But I have a strategy. Today I went through a trial chambers with vaults, and I think the trial key drops uh, loot is not that bad. I actually ran out of keys. Oh, so it's interesting. In my case, I went like over the top. But I, I did say, like, it's probably better to have too many keys than too few. And if it's going to be random, that's almost a guarantee. Hey, Chris! Or Chris H. Chris, you know. It's a, uh, it's good to see you. Thank you for the, the pig step. Oh, I had a timer. I was going to... Literally five seconds before I start. I was like, you know, it'd be fun. Have a little timer gun step. Forgot to hit it, chat. Okay, so no water today is the challenge of the, the day, by the way. One more time. If you just joined... I feel like streams on YouTube, there's always this like, a lot of people go into them and there's meant to be like 10 minutes of cool nothingness. Whereas I'm like, no, let's get right into it. I miss it when it was other side, says Xavier. Um, I also hope your day go well, says uh, Angelic J. I hope yours too. I, by the way, I hope uh, everything is going well, Chris H. Um, I hope it's going very desert well, in fact. I would go as far as to say. Also, that shipwreck is made from two tones, right? I know they're usually made from two tones, but it's a really nice, nice mixture. Two. Do, 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 Challenge is overpowered, says T-Laves. Yeah, the way the challenges work in this one, just to prevent it being like, oh, I've got to do yesterday's challenge and the one from three days ago, is every day it's a new, different challenge. And obviously, some of them can be harder, easier, etc. Um, welcome to the harem, new wife, says Miss Pat Van Driver Lady. Exactly. Everyone is a wife. Uh, it is a widely known thing. 
And what you are joining right now is, a, it, yeah, some would say a cult, others would say a friendship club uh, that is hard to leave. <laughs> I guess the people who, people who have cults would say that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead, let's put the lava bucket in there with my 16 potatoes. And let's come back with some real food, because I, I can't walk around forever. I just can't do it. And yeah, I um, I don't consent to polygamy. Uh-oh, says Chillis Bean 13. Looks like you already did, I see the green name. Ex-members are ex-wives, so Xavier. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the, the analogy works flawlessly. There are precisely zero issues with it. So now we're gonna go in here, we're gonna see what's in the chest. That's a worthless chest, so we'll break the chest, because we can do have another one. See what's in this chest, it's just paper. Break the chest, we could always do a free chests. I have no idea why we're getting such weird RNG, but honestly, sometimes, sometimes you get much worse than this, so I'll accept it for what it is. You know, if we all just accepted each other for what we were, we might all be a better or alternatively worse place. It's definitely one of the two. Um, now we take the lapis. We probably put away this wooden pickaxe, but we'll, we'll use it in the furnace at some point. And I think I'm good with loot. Let's go make a portal. Today I played small salmon edition, says Cat Beanie. Oh man, you, you, a traitor to the to the to the the kind, really. Bastion should have a vault. Would solve the whole Neverite upgrade template problem. I would be, I would feel a little incensed if the Neverite upgrade in the Bastions was really done on like a, yeah, you get, you get one of these, and then it's, and then it's done. That would, that would make me feel a little bit like, like again, it's how it works right now, but it feels like, well, it's loot. What else can? Something about the idea of that being locked behind a vault would feel so wrong. Also, um, yo, I forgot about you. I remember watching you so much, says Astra Curious. It's good to see you again. I think the YouTube, the way YouTube works is like that is a common enough thing for lots of people. It's a, it's a weird thing as a creator to feel like, oh yeah, the, you, you put all this work in and some people are like, oh yeah, who's this toy cat guy? But also that's, that's how it is in every circle of life. Um, I was, I, have you ever had that thing in real life where you say something out loud and then no one, no one hears it, but then like 10 seconds later, someone repeats what you just said, and everyone laughs, and they're like, ha, ha, that's a really good point, actually. And you're like, but the, 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 you know, something like that. Also, thank you, Targon Black Poppy, for becoming the 476th channel member. Welcome to the club. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Uh, by the way, I turned down my Minecraft music, so we're gonna put it in our own background now. Tell me if it's too loud, but I, uh, I want to listen to some classic Minecraft music, get those vibes going. Okay, so now we're going to place down a base. Really, I kind of like the idea of living inside of a shipwreck. I shouldn't have burnt down the nearest shipwreck to me, should I? Um, so this this lava right here, I could just bring back with me if I get enough iron. I do have a solid 11 of it, has to be said. Do, 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 do. Can you imagine all those years ago? That uh, when Minecraft came out, would anyone have pictured this is where it would leave? Someone playing on a beach only world, desperate not to touch water. Okay, so I had a plan, but I don't think I need to use it because it looks like today I haven't gotten to the never anyway. I could. So my plan to not use water, right, was specifically to do the opposite of using water. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I was gonna like go into the ground like this and place the lava in the water, kind of the reverse of what you usually do not using the water, because I'm getting rid of the water, which is the opposite of using it, right? I, I would say. If, you know, if, if me using my water in real life right now, me getting rid of uh, my mask in real life, um, that's not using the mask. I guess I used it for the joke, for the, for the, the prop there, uh, you might be able to argue. But that was my plan of being able to, getting rid of water is using it. Also, uh, no, I imagined you kissing turtles. Okay, is the uh, music any better now, by the way? It, it was loud, but you know, it was proud too, which honestly, you gotta you gotta give it credit for. Let's go find some, so, just so we don't have to do a night again. Let's find two more spiders. We've got 10 strings still. Oh, wow. Did you just hit a turtle? Man, monsters. Oh, there's actually a lava, uh, there's lava just behind my boat over there. So we'll find two spiders on the way and we'll make that boat my new home. Yeah, I think it'd be a nice restoration project, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll get we'll get the string we need. Uh, we'll get some gunpowder too, so we can make some nice fireworks. Oh no! Okay, creep is very large, but it's fine. Okay, so now I can make some fireworks. I have no need for the fireworks, but you better believe it's not going to stop me. And.
And uh, I believe that's my 12th strength. Yeah, it is. Free wall chat. And I've got lapis to make it free blue wall too. I'm, ha I'm having a good day. Ooh. Uh, music is better now. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad we fixed it. So now I can make some more wool. You know, actually, let's let's go for it. Okay, so again, bear in mind there are no sheep in this world. I don't know if we could get sheep in this world at all. But there's no sheep that exists yet, at least. Um, okay, let's go crouch. Yeah. Get wrecked. Okay. <laughs> that was meant to go a lot more successfully, but it's fine. Um, so we'll get three more strength. Uh, should be nice and easy. And then we'll actually we'll settle down. No, I need I need the string first. I wanna. I want to do things with the string. That requires me to have it. Let's go. Another spider. And once we got our string together, we can start making that ship feel a little bit more homely. So we're now at three strings. So one more spider should have me good. I'm going to kill a creeper just because he's here. Ooh, it's always dangerous to do with an iron sword. I always forget how dangerous it is to do with an iron sword too. Okay. So this is fine. Everything is fine. Okay. I've got to eat a potato soon, but we're good. We're out. Let's go. Okay. This is going to be my new home, but I've got to make it into a home really quickly. Oh, um, this is the this is the upper deck. This is where my 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 furnace can go. <laughs> That's a logical thing, right? This is where my crafting table uh, will go. No, I, I want to live inside. I don't want to live at the whims of... I, I don't want to be exposed to the elements, you know? So this can be my captain's room. Uh, I'll have like nice little viewpoints later. In fact, yeah, it'd be nice to renovate this thing because I could get some glass going, stuff like that. But for now, let's think about it. Let's place down a crafting table here. Let's make a bed. I don't have a bed. Um, eh, blue bed. It's ha having a non non standard bed. It's a good feeling. And we'll destroy this to make the bed go in the middle. And now it kind of looks like a fancy bed, right? Oh, I can't sleep. Well, I had I had something. <laughs> Pets aren't useless. Uh, they're, at least they're charming and like the sniffer or the camel. Also, yeah, the challenge uh, for the next day is either um, we're going to either keep a pet alive for the entire day or we're going to not touch Nevrak. The floor is lava. I'm impressed by which one is winning that vote. It is, it is sa it's saying something about the internet's loyalties. Um, but you know, credit to the internet for having loyalties. Uh, okay, let's go. Ooh, you got, are you guys a trident? Because you sure are enchanted with loyalty right now. Okay, in we go. Camels have a funny face. Yeah, a ca you ca again, I, I wish we could find a camel here. But just to reiterate, the desert is not a beach. If you if you believe the desert is a beach, you should go to the, the Middle East. You'll be shocked at what you find there. Um, so now, let's make two more stairs. One can go over... Oh, there's something, there's something in here. One goes over there and there. And one goes over here. Yeah, this is this is cozy. Do you like my bed, chat? Oh god, this music. It's the one it's the one that drives me deaf. Drives me deaf? The one that makes me deaf. Just it's so loud. It's too much. <laughs> Life's a beach challenge. Life's a beach. Life's a desert, and then you marry one, I hear. Um Okay, so now we're gonna renovate our boat to make it a little bit less uh dicey to get in and out of. This probably means we're gonna have to go take someone else's boat. But for now, we'll just use some dark oak planks. Um, yeah, we'll just make a bunch of stairs, patch it all up. The rest can sort itself out. So we'll make two sets of stairs. And also we need to put our chests down. So chests can go over here. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to do that. So I'll now chests can go over here. One. And then, you know, we could, we could just have a second chest underneath it. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so this second chest is uh, this is where I'm just gonna store all the garbage that I don't need right now, but might need at some point. Like a diamond, who? What can you even do with diamonds? Like, is there anything? Is, is there any value to those? Though I, I could imagine. No, it's a it's a silly item. Don't need any of those. Iron nuggets, for example, just stuff like this. We don't we don't need it. Don't want it. Don't have to need it or want it. The stone sword is useful for future me. The trims. This is all stuff that I might make some use out of later. But right now, I'm not getting any from it. And then we'll take our spruce plank planks and our slab. And we'll try and make this into a somewhat... Okay, no! I mean, you, you know the, the idea of, like, uh, renovating a place by, like, destroying it and starting again? It looks like we might get to do a version of that right now. Which some people are really jealous about. In real life, demolition takes a while. In Minecraft, you just call the creeper company. I'll have a guy over in no time. 
So now we use our stairs and we're just going to uh, make this look a little fancier. We'll fill this in with sand maybe later. Or maybe we won't. Maybe this is a natural defense. If mobs can't get to your ship, they can't raid it. So that is a, a universal truth. So the challenge for today, by the way, is I need to find myself an animal to the friend and I need to keep him alive the entire day. That is quite the challenge, you might say. Um, but we're, we're going to see what we can do. We're going to do our best. So we don't have any name tags, so the, the, the pet is going to be a hard one to keep. Uh, these spiders, not a very good pet. A turtle, potentially a good pet. So if I want to keep the turtle alive all day, um, we're going to have to make him a little safe spot, right? So turtles will despawn, but if we keep them like trapped in somewhere, I think he won't. I'm going to have to test that right now. You know, if he despawns, is that the same as dying, chat? I'm not I'm not familiar on the rules uh, of this chat. You know, he's probably not dying. Yeah, I don't I don't think turtles despawn if you put them in a hole. Maybe maybe we put the wait, let's put the turtle in the boat actually. Let's I think that's the logical thing to do here. So let's break through here. Yeah, this is this is this is where the turtle should go. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, there goes the axe. We'll make we'll make a little turtle space on the boat. Uh, I don't know if it'll fit through that. Come on, why are you so... Could, could you just eat a few less kelp? Just like a little. You don't have to go that crazy. But if you could fit in spaces like this, it'd be nice. Okay, we're going to slide him in. So Toy Cat can touch water now, says Ellis Hell. Yes, I can I can touch water again. Um, because now my challenge is to keep a turtle alive. It's very hard to get him in there. But I think we've just about done it. And then we get out. Place the staircase here. Another staircase over here. Can you place a... Okay, wait. I can I can do this. I'm going to place a block. No, I can't. That's not going to work. So I'll just place a staircase here. There we go. And then another one over there. Uh, I, I was going for a different angle, but that one works. Now I've got myself a pet. And I'm going to keep him alive at all costs, chat. At all costs. Now we're going to make a little gangway so that I can enter my boat. Um, I think the logical way to do that while staying safe is you make a little little entrance out of some sand. And then at the top of that, have these. So now there's no way that anyone that isn't me will make this jump. Uh, I'm pretty sure at least. Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, that's that should be a me-only jump. And then later we're going to renovate this thing. I feel like we could make it like glassy. We, we can do some fun stuff with it. Um, but for now, it's looking pretty nice. In fact, actually, we can make it glassy right now. Let's go in there. Let's smelt up our stuff. Got some decent food. Got some rotten flesh. Um, modern Aztec looks very rustic. Love it. Yeah, you know, the, the rusticness of this cannot be over overestimated. In fact, actually, we might be better off just... So, yeah, my turtle is good. He's doing well. I think I should remove... I'm going to I'm gonna make this into glass. Yeah, this, this, is, this is an area where we need to use glass for this. It just doesn't make sense as anything else. So, we'll come in here. Remove this, remove that, and make 16 glass pieces, and then we'll use the rest later to make this look much better. Um, he will once the wandering trader shows up. Also, stop fat shaming turtles, says Alex Jade. I'm not fat shaming the turtle. I'm just saying that it would be more convenient for our pet owner bond uh, if this worked better. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna touch the I'm gonna punch the turtle once just to make sure he doesn't despawn. Because lots of animals, if you have some interaction with them, they'll do better. So this is for his own good. It's like uh, putting hoops on a horse or vaccinating a, a cat. Do you, do you vaccinate cats or is that children? Um, it's like it's the same same idea. So we're gonna we're gonna vaccinate him against violence with a little bit of violence, as as you should do with things you care about. Okay, I can't. Um, you vaccinate both. Okay, it's. You, you, so if you had a kitten, you'd have to like quadruple vaccinate it because it's interesting to think about. I, um, okay, I've got some glass now. Let's put it in. Let's see what this is all about. So I think just two glass isn't going to look that great. I think we are going to have to put a third and a fourth glass here and there. We'd have a whole like glass floor going on, but I, I think this looks good enough. He is now great. Get seagrass and bone meal. Yeah, if we... If we wanted to, we could easily feed him. And if we feed him, he's going to have to stay alive. That's a, that's a good bet, actually. So does that work? Oh. Oh, it's a beach. Because it's not an ocean, it doesn't. 
See, I can go in the ocean today, but... Uh oh, okay, so that is seagrass. No. Is that seagrass? Am I doing seagrass wrong? Do I need shears for seagrass? I hope I don't need shears. Yeah, you need shears for seagrass. Um, I, um... Yeah, this is this is very bizarre. Also, hello, Tokat. I'm from the country named Poland. I love watching you despite the language difference. I've been to Poland, actually. Um, I really liked... Uh, I, I know this is probably like every... Every country has, like, the one attraction everyone knows. But I found Warsaw's Old Town to be one of the most charming places. Like, even after all the destruction, the fact that it's so beautiful. Makes you imagine what it could have been like before, right? It's, uh, it's a nice thing. It's it's cool to know that we got a fan from Poland. Um, you know, I all I need next is to have a heater from Poland. And I'll have perfect climate control over there. Okay, so I'm just going to feed him, hopefully. It's so... Okay, there we go. I did it. So now he's in love mode. That is a perfectly thing. A uh, perfectly rest, perfectly done turtle. Also, Boondock Saint said, I thought you owned a cat. Do you not have your cat vaccinated? I don't own a cat, and the cat I don't own is not vaccinated. Um, I'm making a statement by not vaccinating the cat I don't have. Uh, it's true. Also, I love that you can see his heart particles through the boat. That's how much that turtle loves me. I vaccinated him against harm, and now he realizes what a good owner I am. You know, people, people doubted me. People said, that's silly. But I bet they feel silly now. Now I'm going to quickly make a diamond shovel. Uh, and I'm just going to... You know, I have a diamond anyway, right? I'm just going to make... Uh, going to remove a lot of the sand around my boat. Uh, I feel like that's going to pretty up a little bit. And then I'm going to turn it into glass so I can make a very futuristic style boat. And then we're going to go straight to the nether. I, I think we've got a challenge to do today. But I'm, I'm having a lot of fun uh, goofing off on the way. As, as is the point of Minecraft. I do need to beat Minecraft. But if I beat Minecraft without having fun, then have I really beaten Minecraft at all? Or has Minecraft beaten me? Okay, so lots and lots of sand around my boat. I'm starting to think this thing has been, like, wrecked on land or something. Um, his name is Grinch because he's green. Extremely creative today. You know, if, if we're naming him after things that are also green, we should name him, like, you know, my poop, I guess. Uh, after a... Oh, no. Okay, he can't come out. You know, it, it, it'll be cute seeing him from this little angle anyway. We'll place that there, and it will look, it'll look intentional. Yeah, this, this is great. This is everything we want in a boat. Uh, he might be able to slide out of that now, so I'm going to just place a glass over over, over here. Um, can't do that, so I'll place the glass over there. Yep, looks great to me. <laughs> in fact, we'll make this glass as well, and then it'll look kind of intentional. There we go. Perfect. Um, we're probably going to have to place another one of these there, just to like tie it all together. But that looks great to me. And now um, we take all of the sand, which has been existing. Just just throw it in the furnace. I got too much of it, but that's that's fine. That's entirely acceptable. Also, glass planes. <laughs> this is a very glassy planes. Okay, so chat, this is my pet. His name is his name is concerning 3 a.m. poop. Um, concerning 3 a.m. bowel movement, actually. So concerning C3 BM. This is my pet. He's called C3BM. And, uh, also I can't believe that I, I wake I, I for some reason I wake up in these stairs. This is a bad bed design, but I'm sticking with it. And so my challenge for today is going to be decided by you also, chat. Um, thankfully, you know, if you, if you pick go, no going on the floor on the nether, I'd have done a bad job at that. I guess I would have done a great job. I wouldn't have touched the nether rack once. Uh, but now we've got a pet. We're just going to grab our buckets. And we're going to go straight there. Because I can use water... Which is going to take the water from here to that. So yeah, C3BM is uh, <laughs> is my favorite favorite animal pet I've ever had in a while, as a, as opposed to human pets. Also, um, so cat definitely needs tips so we can care for the cat he doesn't own. Yeah, if you think that I'm not looking after my 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 cat that I don't have correctly, oh, what I thought was a what I thought was lava was actually the bonus chest. Oh no, chat. Oh no, I've I've re I've messed this one up royally. So if I want to make a if I want to make a never portal, I'm gonna have to go real far. Ah, oh. oh, that sucks real bad. Um, yeah, there's no real way around that either. Um, I could find more lava, but realistically, it's fine. It's great. Your pet's name sounds like a Minecraft music disc. It says E. <laughs> Also, this is a brutal one. Oh no, we got okay. This is a brutal one. Okay, I uh, 
this 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 get, it's gonna be crazy if it happens, but it looks like it, ch chat's having a fun time between the choices. Uh, if you're watching this back and it's not as a live stream, you can still see the chat, I believe. Uh, but if you're watching this and it is a live stream, uh, be sure to make your loyalties known. There might be lava here if there's cobblestone. It's not always true. It's not even usually true. It just can be true, you know. So I can't make the challenge eating the turtle. I was thinking about that. I saw someone play Minecraft the first time today and they started punching a frog. Like, oh yeah, I'll get some frog meat. And it didn't happen. And I was like, ah, that's, uh, that's interesting that 10 years ago, if you did just punch the first animal you saw. Yeah, obviously. If you do it now, it's like, why would you punch a, punch a frog? It's interesting how the same game can have different mechanics over time. Okay, so now I'm going to... Oh, okay, so chat has decided no touching sand is the challenge for today. <laughs> okay, that's it. That, I, it's the, I'm glad there's no opportunities to touch sand. It's a really easy challenge for me to pull off. Uh, more seriously, I am hoping. Um, okay, so we're going to go in here. It's going to be great. I am kind of hoping that it, we can get to the nether. And then, then touching sand becomes a becomes a not real possibility, right? Uh, touching sand with my feet, by the way, obviously. Can can touch it with my... Okay, we're going to be careful about this. Was not very careful about that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that... It should flow... I'm looking at it. Okay, it flows to the sides, that's why. So I have to... I have to dig this. And I have to dig that. I'll just place a block there. Okay, now it will flow into these holes, right? Okay, great. So now to make sure that I can get over to the next hole, I'm gonna dig some blocks so that I'm only touching stone. There's always stone under that, and I'm doing just great with it. Thank you. Don't touch sand, it's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. You know, it's it's factually accurate, that is. So now we've got four stone that we need. Let's get more stone, or more four obsidian. Um, everyone's going according to plan so far. Let's see if it continues. So now we just place obsidian there. And can we do some here? No, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, why is it burning me? Okay. I feel like I was standing quite far from that lava, but that's okay. Um, Minecraft works in mysterious ways. So now we're going to place a obsidian there. And then we're going to place one... Over here, and then we're gonna move the water over there. And as long as it's not spilling over here, we're doing great. Okay, we are ready to go to the Nether. I think I've got. I forgot to bring my flint with me, so we're gonna have to burn some wood. It's not the ideal, but you can make it work. So, but yeah, look, welcome to my Nether portal. There's no sand in the Nether. Oh, I guess we can't touch soul sand. Oh no, chat, you're right. <laughs> Oh no, you're totally right about that. <laughs> that's ridiculous that that's true, but credit where credit is due, that is correct. <laughs> I've got to go to the Never. I've got to specifically not touch salt sand. That's fine. I can live with that. Um, yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Scoop up the lava. Break the fire. It's sometimes pointless to try, but I'm gonna anyway. And now let's go. Please spawn in a salt sand valley to a cat. Okay, so let's let's make preparations in case it is a soul sand valley, because I will, it will be so hard for me to fight everything in this particular situation, right? So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get all of that away, and I'm gonna get the cobblestone blocks out because then I can like I can defend the portal, but also like step on them to find something that isn't soul sand. It's a one in five chance of being a soul sand valley. Let's hope for the four in five. Oh, oh, okay, what, what biome is that? I think that's Neverac, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm touching... Oh, a Bastion! Wow, do I want that right now? I would wager I don't, honestly. Um, okay, I need to craft a... Okay, before anyone even notices that I'm here, I need to make some boots. I need to make them right now. I, right, please don't notice. Okay, perfect. I'm also going to make an iron chest plate, uh, just for just protection of some level. Now I have to be very tactical about what I do and also about how I protect my portal. I'm going to make some stone slabs um, because it will just give me more blocks for the same amount of stuff. And I'm going to make a way back to the portal that only I can go through. So all the way around, we'll make it that high. 
And now I can crouch under this, but piglins cannot. I'll make it a little bit wider over, over here, maybe. And I'll place some blocks on the back here. Just limit my angles of attack. But this should be good now. Okay, so I've got an idea. I've never tried this before. But what if I what if I used arrows to take down the... Uh, oh, I've got three arrows. It's a bad idea. I could kill the piglin brutes with arrows. But since I don't want to do that, I'm going to use lava buckets instead. I can't touch soul sand. But that's not a problem today. It seems like this has worked out nicely for me. This is this is one of the best never spawns I've had. I This is the opposite to every time I do a weird challenge. I just get screwed by never generation. Today, it's not happening at all. Feeling good. So we're just going to melt this piglin. Um, it doesn't count as killing a piglin if you use lava. Because the lava killed the piglin, not me. Um, that is my legal defense. If it ever comes to it. And if you ever catch me in any lava related um, endeavors in the real world. Oh no, you don't. Yes, you do, apparently. Yes, you do. Yes, he really does. He really he really does do it. Um, so that's bad. I'm going to go on a limb and say. Would not like this to continue. He's following me pretty good, too. Um, but we'll do fine. We'll do just great if we can get over to the lava, scoop it back up. Okay, so the first piglin has stopped following me. Piglin, piglin brute, I guess I should say. And the second one doesn't seem to care. There he cares. He cares. Okay. So how do I get him? What's, what's the secret? There we go. That'll get him. That'll get him good. Pour that on him. And now he's dead. I think. Oh, wait. look at they, the amount of time they can stand in lava for. It makes sense that they're never beasts, but like, whew, they really, they really can just take it. So now we've gotten him dead. I think there's only one more brute to go for. And we're just going to make sure we get him good. I'm going to place a block over here. I'm going to get any other block of choice out just to save my life. And we're going to burn him. No, oh, no. Okay, he's burning though. He's still burning. That's what matters. Burn, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> okay, nice. So now there is a brute over there, actually. Um, there is a choke point between me and him, though. So I just have to light that on fire and he's going to walk through it, right? Okay, he's, he's smarter than that, actually. No, he's smarter than me. He's much smarter than me. Okay. <laughs> he's burning alive, so maybe not, actually. Someone's burning alive. Okay, perfect. I can't punch him, and if he makes it through, I'm so screwed. Oh, is he going to, though? He's not. Perfect. Ooh. Um, that was pretty good. Pretty decent day, I would say. Scoopity scoop. <laughs> scoopity, scoopity, scoopity scoop. So now I'm going to get... Uh, you know, I'm going to have to just melt these guys, too. It's It sucks to kill them. They're being non-aggressive, but they get aggressive when you open chests. Even if it's not their chest, they just don't like the idea of you opening anyone's chests. I think, uh, yeah, you're going, you're going down, buddies. Hate to tell you, but it's happening. Um, and once they're all gone, I can go for their big chests. So, sorry, it's not my first choice. I do like you as people. I mean, actually, they've got some really bad sense of, you know, like, I, I, I hate to say it, but when it comes to meeting the, you know, better business standard bureau, be better business bureau standards. These guys are not at the top of the list. They they take payment and then they decide what they're going to give you later. That's misleading advertising. Um, you know, if I was a lawyer, I'd have some serious concerns about it. Thankfully, I'm not. Um, I've got three enchanted swords and never write scrap, which I guess we'll just take. And, oh. Um, just call the video Seeds and see if anyone cares or not. Also, Tokat Seed Sunday is done. Just needs a title. Um, yeah, awesome. I, um, I, I think I gave it three titles. Um, I tell you what, um, you know what, chat? How about, how about you pick a title with me right here? Uh, <laughs> it's all polls based now. Now, right, um, yeah, we, uh, okay, I'm gonna take a lot of arrows. I've got a full stack in a bit. I'm gonna take some lovely soul speed boots. And some extra... I mean, this is a good chest. I, I've got enough obsidian to go somewhere else in the overworld. It's going to be nice. We need to take out the lawyer. Lawyer lawyer playthrough of Minecraft. I did a fun playthrough that was um, beating Minecraft, but like uh, specifically calling out all the laws I break. And I, I was shocked by just how many there are. Um, a, lot of, a lot of international 
War Crimes 2. Has to be said. Um, video title? This video isn't about Martin Van Buren. That would, that would be an accurate video title. That is not... I did not make a video about Martin Van Buren. Uh, Buren? Feels incorrect. I, 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 yeah, I guess, I guess the man himself was probably incorrect, though, about something. Okay, that's two stacks of arrows. We're all good. Boa's the only... Okay, so day four is going to be starting soon. And chat is going to decide what my challenge is. One of them is no food today, and one is Boa's the only weapon. <laughs> I, I mean, looking forward to you picking well. Wow. So, um, as chat is deciding on my challenge for the next day, I guess we need to get some blocks, actually, taken back to the overworld. So I, I don't think until if it's daytime, if it's nighttime when I get back, the day's not finished. So I need to get back to my base using exclusively not sand blocks, which is harder than it sounds. If mobs are gonna be hitting me, maybe it's not safe to go back at all. Let's go through the portal and let's see. Um, yeah, I um, if you don't click this video, I cannot pay my rent, says Xavier. <laughs> that's a good. That's now that's a good title right there. That's a great idea for a title. Okay, so it is nighttime. Getting back home without touching sand is going to be real hard. So instead, we've got about I love your content. seven minutes until the next day starts. Days. I love your content. It got me through some of the rough days. I'm glad to hear that, by the way. I, I genuinely, I'm, I'm very aware of what you mean by like uh, having some YouTube or having someone, having some parasocial bond there for the rough days. It's something I've mentioned before really helped me, but it is it, it's it's weird how it works but sometimes just knowing there's someone out there who is in tune with you is important in a way. Um, it's a it's a weird thing but I'm glad that the internet has facilitated it. There are too many people uh, that would just be fully convinced, like, ah, guess, guess there's no, uh, you know, value to, uh, me, my way of thinking, the, it's, it's hard to imagine how much different the world could have been a while ago, and I'm glad that it exists the way it does now. So I get to do only a birch forest video? I should, you know, today, I should slowly try and tick them all off one by one. It could be a fun little, uh, Fun little thing, huh? I think we did Cherry Grove. Uh, but because of the mushroom biome, I had a whole thing with that. I don't think we've done any others past it. So, I want to go from there and then down. And, uh, okay. This is fine. Gas are great. I've got so many arrows, actually. Let's use the bow. Let's go crazy. It's rare that I get to be so liberal with bow arrow usage. So, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to explode the ceiling, too. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's go down. Let's pick up some wood. A nice, nice fancy brand of wood, obviously. I don't, I don't go for store brand. And let's do this. Rip mushroom stream. You know, gone but not forgotten. Gone but not forgotten mushroom stream. It's, it's sad because it was one of the cooler single biome worlds. Um, for sure. Def definitely loved it on a level. But you know, everything you ever love on any level will eventually vanish too. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess what you're gonna, what you're gonna go for it. Hey, nice, the gas. Chat, have you ever seen that? I've never seen a gas kill a gas before. I played Minecraft for 12, 13 years now, and I have never seen a gas murder a gas. I love that. Um, Toy Cat is not liberal, but only about arrows. Yeah, if you say it about anything else, you get, you get cancelled. You are, you are allowed to be, uh, you're allowed to usually be unliberal about your arrows. Um, it's weird that it, okay. Uh, so, real quick, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the video, Tarrison. I'm gonna help you a bit. Yeah, I think um, uh, just a uh, uh, you know actually while while you're here, um, I think the thumbnail needs to be a little bit clearer. Like there's this annoying thing where the thumbnail can look incredible, but if it's not immediately clear, no one gets it and they think like it. Like if it confuses you, no one wants to find out. So just. A much clearer image of a trial chamber, maybe even similar to the one that I uh, tweeted, like those isometric shots. And then uh, the title should be, um, like, uh, how to find these, how to find these, and then, like, have a little asterisk in there. Um, 
how to find trial chambers in Minecraft 1.21. Something like that. Okay, there we go. Uh, this nether doesn't look much like a beach. You know what, you're wrong. Right. There's not even any soul sand in it. There's not even any soul sand. It's the one defining feature. Okay, um... I, uh, I think that was incredible. Also, Marshmallow War Crimes says Cat Beanie. <laughs> yeah, that, they, they did just... It's the equivalent of, like, uh... What is that? Like, cannibalism? Friendly fire? Shouldn't have done, shouldn't have done for it, really. Uh, I'm gonna murder you. But not because I want to. But just because I've got too many arrows not to. Okay, so chat. My challenge for today... I don't know if it started yet, but we're gonna assume today has started. My challenge for today is I can only use a bow. I have no other primary weapon, so I'm going to put my sword out just to make sure I don't get tempted. Um, oh, I've got a much better food source. Oh, yeah, that's that's the stuff right there. Also, I have two iron blocks, right? So I'm going to turn those into iron ingots. And I'm going to make some leggings. If I've, if I've got the spare resources anyway, let's make some iron leggings. Yeah, that, that'll make a little bit of a difference to my life. And so, yeah, we're just going on a little bit of an adventure. See if we can't... I, I found a... This is the cruelest twist. The challenge of use only arrows came in just as I found a warp forest. Do you know what's going to happen if I try to get ender pearls in my warp forest now? Do you know what's going to happen, chat? Do you want me to show you? I, <laughs> I don't think I don't think you need me to show you. But I'm going to show you anyway, damn it. Um, the ghastly bedrock make me so mad. Okay, let me, let me show you. Wait. Let me show you. Man, this guy... You know what? This... This is the biggest problem. You can't even hit an enderman. Okay, okay. Standing still. He's not mad at me. Let's shoot him with an... Okay, no. Uh, let's shoot him with a... Okay, where is he now? There he is. Let's shoot him with a bow. Okay, this is... You know, you get the point. This... Apparently, I wouldn't be able to shoot them even if I wanted to. So I don't want to. That's my official excuse. Don't even... Don't even care. Um, I probably should have made a bow earlier. So I'm going to make one now, actually. Because rather than using a bow that's like on its last limbs, I think we should treat ourselves. Uh, use something just a little bit nicer. So put this in there. Make me a better bow. Could make a fishing rod, too. Don't think I need to. And uh, let's see if we can't find... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So I'm, I'm protected temporarily from two enemies. Um... What's the plan here, chat? Um, I could I could keep doing this all day. Oh, no, I can't. I genuinely cannot. Uh, this is one of the mobs where that is not a choice. Um, this is going to break my shield. It's running out already. I can't use arrows to defend myself. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. It's over. I, they're just, they're just going to whittle down my shield and it's going to be gone. Um, I- Oh, I knew it! Uh, chat, that was the worst day to not have a weapon! <laughs> the worst! <laughs> that you- you cannot imagine a day going as terribly as that. But, it happened anyway. <laughs> chat smart wanted to see if he'd get there. You know, I, uh, high quality chat, you beat me on that one. <laughs> you beat me. <laughs> you beat me real good. I, uh... I get, give give chat full credit where it's due. You picked a very fun challenge, <laughs> but also one I I should I just shouldn't have gone in there on the off chance that happened. Um, I can make I, I can uh, get my stuff back quite easily. I think um, I'm gonna bring some food with me. I'm just gonna walk to avoid my food going down. So um, lava isn't technically a weapon. I was thinking of using the lava. I was trying to work out how to smartly use it, but I was just getting can melee bow says big salmon. That's a that's a good point. I should have I should have gone broader on my definition of using a bow. I should have been a better lawyer. And I'm sorry, Internet, I was not a good lawyer. Uh, this is an abusive polyamorous relationship, says a uh, wordfish trombone. You know, it's a uh, it's a uh, abusive poly pa para parasocial polyamorous. So that would be a polysocial or para amorous. You know, yeah, para amorous. You, you could have a romantic connection to me that is entirely... Un I, I would hope you don't. But you know how, like, sometimes people, like, are really convinced, like, they're, you know, they'll, like, write letters to someone on the telly being like, we should be together. I think we already are. It's, like, a surprisingly common uh, occurrence. Uh, maybe. 
just maybe that would be para amorous. You know, love but over great confines like that. So I'm gonna make myself some stew if it comes to. Hey, wait, where did you come from? I did you? <laughs> I looked around for a pig. I heard the noise. Uh, it's very strange that I didn't see him. So it's very laggy, but we're doing just fine. We are your wives, says Little Miss Treble. Oh, uh, you're my wives, but everyone else in chat, the the non-members, you know, people who haven't uh, decided to sign up for the wife club, uh, they are all, um, what's the word? They're, they're all parasocial uh, internet girlfriends, I guess. They haven't made the commitment yet. I understand why. I totally get it. You missed one of the big chests, I think, says Bird for Life. Oh, it'd be interesting if so, huh? It'd be very interesting if so. I think Tocat is in love with chat. I think a lot of streamers, to, to have a very mildly serious response to a joking comment. I think one of the things that the rise of TikTok and Instagram uh, as platforms has proven is that there are lots of people who are addicted to the, oh, um, maybe, maybe in love with, you could say, the idea of getting attention from strangers. How did I get into this biome to begin with? I, okay, I went up here, clearly. I think um, there are lots of people who specifically crave that. They will do the job for free or next to free or just for the recognition. Um, it's I guess it's true for every industry. Like, um, I was looking up salaries to... Also, where, where's my stuff? I definitely died over here somewhere. I was looking up salaries for Formula One today. Just for curiosity. Like, uh, they're, they're hiring, like, engineers to build the fastest cars on the planet. And they pay them, like, a little bit above minimum wage. Because it's such a sought-after job that they can pay anything and they'll still have enough talent, right? And it got me thinking, like, yeah, that's actually... Okay, so I've still got to use my bow only today. Um, and I'm going to get out of here before I cause myself to die. But it's an interesting idea that, like, um, if you have enough people who want to do something, you'll find some people are like, yeah, I'll just do it for free. The idea makes sense. But it also proves that there are enough people who want to just have some attention. Uh, they are, even the concept of potentially getting attention is enough to do something for it. TikTok's designed to be as addicting as possible. I hate it. Oh, every social media app is. I think TikTok was the first one to basically admit it. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we, we want you to be here rather than doing other things. But then so does every other product in the world. It's just they worked out that the top level of engagement is done by replicating vices. Yeah, you like the most successful and long lasting industries in the modern world are like tobacco and smoking, because if you are into those things, it is usually addictive on some level. Okay, let's shoot our bow for the first time. Oh, this is going badly. Okay, that's that's great. So yeah, I'm looking around for a fortress, by the way. A never fortress, because you cannot beat Minecraft without it. And if it's a, if you want to beat Minecraft in a beach-only world, beating Minecraft is half of that phrase. Let's see what we can do. Um, they weren't the first to admit it. They were probably the most blatant one. Yeah, the... Um, it's weird, right? Because every social media around, like, 2015, 2016... Does, I, I think actually even earlier than that in the case of Facebook. But every social media started to redesign... Not around you deciding what you should see on the platform, but around the platform deciding for you. And at the same time as making those decisions, a lot of people were saying, I don't want this. Actively, they were, they thought they didn't. And it's because, I don't know, like, no one who, like, when you first start smoking, no one enjoys it. When you first start any actively harmful thing, you don't enjoy it. It's just about getting people to do it long enough so that they do start being a bit addicted. YouTube has failed at being addicted to me recently. Nothing on my homepage interests me. Have you seen the new uh, the new YouTube feature where you can sort your homepage by the color of the thumbnails? <laughs> I thought that was a funny attempt. Um, yeah, I, I think YouTube goes in and out of like phases where it's killing it for you versus if it's not. But I also think that's that's an addictive... Uh, again, this is, this is sad psychology because... On the surface, you would think the way to make the best social media m network would be to have the best content all of the time. But it, psychology proves that you have a much... You enjoy things much more when the engagement curve goes like this, up and down and up and down, because you get excited for the next up. Whereas if it's if it's constantly up, the... Um, or I guess to, to phrase this in other words, when you're in a car, you don't feel a car going fast. You can feel a car accelerating, 
but you don't feel the speed absolutely. If you've been going 70 miles per hour for long enough, you don't feel it. Hey, thank you for the $10 tip. Um, was that feed gold or feed god? You know, I'm gonna die if I do this, but I need to check. Feral god. <laughs> thank you for calling me a feral god, Asda2822. Thank you for the Canadian dollars. Um, also, um, you should, they should recommend five videos instead only as a solution. So I, again, I just, I have this like innate trust in YouTube because they are the market leader for social media. It's, I saw an insane stat that said of people who are in their teenage years, so 13 to 19, 97% use YouTube on a daily basis. Um, that is an, in, that I cannot think of anything else that 97% of any age group does. Like, that is a wild amount of just cultural victory for YouTube. And so every time I hear that they're not going so successfully, right? Or like, oh, it's kind of boring. I'm like, that... I, I know the, the the science says that actually something being interesting all the time and something being uninteresting all the time are the two worst states. You might think that being the best all the time is better than being the best most of the time. But it's bizarre. It's actually like, nah... People feel much better when they, uh, okay, we're good. Um, people feel a lot better about, um, a good that comes after a bad. You ever, you ever heard the phrase, uh, trauma bonding? Or, like, the idea of, like, I don't know, someone saving a, a, a damsel in distress from, like, a lake or something? Like, uh, when someone saves your life, you go through the worst thing ever, but then immediately you have some of the best and most positive feelings. You fall in love with a person and blah, 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 blah. Um, there is, there is a real psychology to that. And it, it kind of comes down to how your brain works. If there's no objective good and bad, you just get more or less serotonin and, uh, what's that one? Dopamine. Uh, you get more positive feelings, right? And there's only a fixed amount of positive feelings in your brain. And so it feels better to get it in big surges. Like the difference between slowly sipping like a milkshake or like having like a little teaspoon of milkshake once every half hour versus, oh, I'm drinking all the milkshake now, and like then like, oh no, I'm throwing up the whole milkshake. I know everyone throws up milkshakes. Definitely not the me thing. Um, but the idea of that, like, um, all the way up, all the way down, uh, is the best way for basically everything to go. Okay, so now we're going to go the other way through the nether. I haven't found a nether fortress. I fear I never will, but that's fine. <laughs> I, I've got I've got my ender pearls, like, potentially locked down later, once I can not use just a bow. And so another fortress is nice, but it's not, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got the other half of the equation sorted, so I can spend some time on this. As long as I don't get trapped in a death loop. We all know about the death loop. Uh, it's not, it's not a nice place to be. As long as I don't get trapped in one of those, I'll be doing wonderfully. Also, um, fun 50-50 poll. Okay, so new day is starting, and the choice is, oh no, <laughs> this is a fun part, there is... The choices are no pickaxe and no new items in inventory. So that is a brutal pairing of challenges if I'm going to try and find another fortress. But you know what, chat? It's okay. I can make this work. Um, I can I can, I can, can do it. I'm a strong uh, person. And I, at least I'll have my sword back. I can kill things to defend myself. I won't be able to pick up their loot, but I'll be able to not die. Which is pretty good. Um... Why is creative music playing? It's, uh, I have the Minecraft soundtrack just rolling. Yeah, you're right. That's what we have. So we'll switch over to Moog City 2 for you. There you go. Um, why are we doing these mean challenges? Let the man play. We gotta, we gotta, gotta make it fun. And fun means pain sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna put my shield on. Oh, I don't have a shield. That was the whole thing, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that was a whole thing. So I'm going to quickly make a shield now. There are some hoglins looking at me pretty funky. But I'll do great. And, uh, yeah, I just want to not be near them, really. They seem like they want me dead. Oh, there's so many of them, too. Okay, I'm just going to run through the middle. Right through there. No one can do anything to me. Great. Okay. We're through. We're wonderful. We're just a bunch of meanies. Yeah, I, uh... I do think we can do... I think we can do these challenges. And that's why I think they're fun. Is it, it, it adds a bit of variety to like, oh yeah, otherwise you're just going for the never. It's a fun way to make the never exciting, even though... Because the single biome challenge is not applying to other dimensions. It is something a lot of people take some umbrage with. 
So it's nice to have a counterbalance to that. So now we are deep in the negative Z uh, positive X territory. I guess we're not really that positive X. The lack of a nether fortress will only be concerning once we've... Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll do fine. The nether is already exciting, but I know what you mean. Do you like the nether, Hungry Warden? Is this one of your favorite parts of an, a, a Minecraft run? It definitely does have a lot of... Uh, the, mo the highest degree of crazy bad things that can happen. Uh, I would say that the highest concentration can be in the nether. The end, you've got like a single objective. It goes good or it goes bad. This is something else. Okay, so chat has decided today I am not allowed to use a pickaxe. <laughs> that, that is a weird challenge. Chat, I'm going to level with you. But no pickaxe is something I'm going to make work. It's going to be annoying if I need a pickaxe to get to the nether fortress. But if that happens, I guess we'll kill some endermen because we found one of these. I guess if that happens, we'd get pretty happy because we need that anyway. So, anyone seeing a nether fortress around here? Around these parts? Uh, I, I'm i not seeing one. That's for sure. I thought it would be the lesser of two evils. Guess it's just craft now, says Hungry Warden. Oh, you're totally right. Um, you are totally right. We are, we are just playing craft. So, how do you guys like craft? It's one of my favorite games. Uh, obviously, I prefer it with a little bit of mine added at the front. But if you don't get any, that's fine too. Let's now bridge across. What we got over here? Not too much. Okay, that's fine too. Bridge across another. Oh, I'm out of Neverack. So I can't mine anymore. And so I'm just going to... do. I'm, I'm doing fine. You know, no pickaxe is a perfectly livable rule. You don't need a pickaxe in the Never anyway. What you really need in the Never is a is a is a Never Fortress. Everything else is just there to keep you busy. Um, yeah, the the lack of one is something I always think about. I'm like, what if this is the only Never with no fortress? But you just got to remember, if you if you are a uh, medium salmon edition of the game player, first of all, welcome to the channel. Uh, I play Minecraft Bedrock here, and one of the fun quirks of Minecraft Bedrock is the Never has double as many. Uh, mob spawning and half as many never fortresses so it's double as you have to spend double as much time in a in a dimension that is double as challenging uh, that is the balance for the version of the game that's meant to be played uh, on touchscreen phones <laughs> man I have no idea if you're playing Minecraft Pop Edition you must have a real rough time going to the nether so um, how long has the stream been going uh, about seven long, I would say, if I had to have to I, I, if I had to quantify it. How does a lava bucket not burn your hands? How does a water bucket fit in your hands? It's 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 so much water. It's thousands of liters. Uh, the answer is none of this makes any sense. Yes, okay, so we're gonna light a fire on all of these piglins. Oh, there's so many of them. I don't want to. Oh, you know what? Let's let's go in there. Let's finish them uh, with, with the sword. Get some nice food. Finish you two. Oh no. Okay. Whoopsie. My bad. So over here we have found nothing. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go positive, positive now. Uh, it's always a possibility we'll find something out here. And uh, also, uh, not all. I've never played anything else but touchscreen edition. Says James Weston. You don't. You don't find this to be intimidating. I feel like I have a really good one-to-one -one, like feel of the controls. And sometimes I still get a little overwhelmed by like, oh, lots of lots of things have just happened, and I am not not good with this at all. So um, the okay, what's over here? Nope, nothing. It feels like there should be a never fortress just in the distance somewhere, but there just is not one. The I'm gonna go all the way further out this way though, just in case, because I don't want to have to come back here later. It feels like this is the easiest biome to traverse. There's no mobs, there's no pain. So we're gonna go for it. Such a big warp forest. Yeah, it, it is a very, very big warp forest. It's a good biome to have, honestly. It's one of one of the best, I might even say. It's nice to be able to have, especially one this size and this open. It's so easy to walk through. It's led me right into a crimson forest. And we're gonna try and not go too far this way, because by, by the time you get to 400, you're not gonna find any structures. If we go this way a bit more, we might find. No, it's it's a dead end. Okay, so no never fortress over here. 
Very sad. But we'll find one elsewhere. Not a long term world, the Endermen destroy the terrain. Yeah, that's an interesting point, actually. You, uh. I feel like Endermen are one of those weird Minecraft would never design them now type deals. Based on the fact that it's in, like, Jeb's book to not mess with people's builds, it's funny that they do have one that really does do precisely that, huh? Okay, go. So is that two separate mobs? I hope not. Do, 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 do. Let's make some planks. Okay, got him. It was the same one both times. Good to know. Thank you very much for uh, re remembering Guilty Spot. Obligatory member milestone chat. It's weird that your member milestone chat uh, did the uh, the pig step, but not always. Minecraft will never design any of the OG mobs now. It's a, it's a funky problem, huh? Okay, let's go. Let's not go. Let's go again. Let's not go. Let's crouch. Yeah, I think, I think using the shield, getting a little bit of timing in between, means we can get some ender pearls. Uh... So the current challenge is no pickaxe, by the way. Uh, just a reminder for anyone who's uh, just getting here. And uh, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to just not not go anywhere that needs a pickaxe. It's fine. Make the never a little bit spicier. Sure. But I'll, I'll do just great with that. In fact, with a nice enchanted sword and a shield, I think this is a good place for us to be. I hope they remove the enderman griefing one day. I mean, people can choose to turn it off, right? But I think it's a it's a thing I don't like myself. But also, I, I don't really like. I feel like it is one of the few examples of Minecraft doing it, so I kind of let it slide in my mind. But I see how you'd feel different if it was like on your long-term world, something has been ridiculously messed around with. Also, I don't know. Minecraft adds plenty of annoying creatures now, like hoglins and piglin brutes. But they don't mess with your stuff, your world. They mess with you as a player. It definitely does feel like every Minecraft mob is like a new evolution in a weird way, though. Also, I'm not picking up any of these blocks. I need to free up some inventory space. Um, you made a respawn anchor, right, chat? Yeah, no, definitely. I am very safe with my respawn anchor, of which I have many. <laughs> you can trust me to... Not have any never related pains. Because I just never There's so many endermen down there, I feel like I have to go down. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's jump onto this. Oh <laughs> didn't love that. Did not love that at all. Um let's drop this on the ground. Let's get these out. Because I can't I can't mine a hole like I usually do. So instead we're gonna pull this out of the wall. We're just gonna build a little shelter um out. Something the enderman can't move. So there we go. That should be good. Okay, please, please stop. Just what? Why? Why do you want to stand there so bad? <laughs> what could be your reason? Um, so now we go crazy on the Enderman. So go. I feel like I just got here and they've all left. Let's get, let's get as many Enderman as we can today. Yeah, look, look at them all. Oh yeah, this is great. This is, this is exactly what I want, chat. This is the dream when it comes to, when it comes to Enderman. Oh yeah, just slaying like crazy. Gonna kill a whole pickaxe. Gonna hit, kill a whole sword on them. Uh, but in, in exchange, I'm gonna get. Wait, no. Look how many I've killed. Chat. I got zero ender pearls from all of that. This whole this whole kill session I've just done. I have no new ender pearls. Still, I have no new ender pearls. Okay, I think I got one just then. Okay, that's that's two ender pearls. Uh, that's three. Okay, we're, we're finally talking. Four ender pearls. That was crazy RNG though. To kill seven 50-50s. So let's just look at a few more. Oh yeah, so much. Um, by the way, how is everyone doing today? I, um, I, I've been vaguely mentioning that my day's been good. Uh, well, what was the last, like, good dessert everyone else has had? Also, is your more, is your mood, are, are your moods proportional to the last good desserts you had? I, um, something I, 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 I genuinely think about this sometimes. Is that some people think of food as being like, oh yeah, it's like, it's like a fun thing you can eat. Like it's a, it's a sustenance. It's one of the parts of your day. And I've never known whether to be like sad about that, you know, like sad on their behalf or like delighted by them. Because I, I say this all the time, but one of my like real limiting factors is that I love, you know, I like food. Food is always on my mind. You could always convince me to like have a donut. There's never a moment in the day where I'm like, well. Another donut wouldn't be nice. 
Uh, you know, my body eventually starts fighting back and saying, no, don't eat the sick donut. But uh, the fact that there are people that are like, oh no, I'd rather have like a bowl of fruit instead, actually. I wonder like, is that like, is that like a blessing or a curse? I made trifle today, says Dasha. Oh, trifle's so good. I'm, I, I'm, I'm jealous of your trifle. I can say that for sure. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have all my ender pearls sorted. It's just blaze rods I'll need after this, by the way. This is one of the fastest I've ever done it. Like usually you spend a good bit of time here. I love finding a good never where we can be efficient. Efficient, fast, practical, good. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do it. So doing okay today. Last good dessert was an apple pie, says Psychobob78. Oh, like a real, I, I, I immediately pictured a McDonald's apple pie, but I bet you're picking a, uh, a good one. My, uh, trifle recipe was very Russianified. The only way I can picture making a trifle Russian is if you make it out of, like, beetroot instead. Or, like, uh, yeah, you know, actually, yeah, that's the, that's the way it would be, I guess. A lovely beetroot trifle. I think I looked at him in the wrong way. I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. I know you don't agree with my looking, but please don't murder me over it. Please don't. Um, the beach is awfully crowded today. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of lot, lot of lot of tall gentlemen at the beach today. Um, have to say, they're all very rude. They're insisting that they have a reservation, even though you can't reserve the beach. But uh, anyway, it's it's just because they're rude doesn't mean I have to be. Now we're gonna pick up all of these, put them in my stack, and try and find that fortress. I um I had apple strudel the other day. I'm gonna go have a bite now. Hold on. Oh man, D don't make me that jealous. You don't need to do it. Should we change the Minecraft music now? I, th I think we should. I think I think the time has come for the Minecraft music. Oh, we're on the we're on the Never. Never mind, actually. Do you like this Never song? Should we switch it out anyway? I like this one. Um, yeah. What what do you reckon, Snap? You got good feelings about this one? Um, I kind of like this warp forest. I could stay here forever happily. Maybe I just should. Maybe that's the... Oh, no, no, no. Don't want to stay here happily forever. I don't think I would be happy forever. I think I'd burn, get killed by an enderman. It'd go badly for me. Or I could try going negative Z, negative Z. I don't think I've done that yet. So we'll, we'll just walk this way as far as we can. See where it takes me. Um, I feel like the music stopped, but is this just weird music? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to see the Seed Sunday. I assume it went live, by the way. Oh, okay. I, I guess still thumbnail. Did Harris, was Harrison here earlier to hear what I said? I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll hope. I'm excited for Seed Sunday this week. Very excited for it. Next Toycat Gamer Bath video, says Xavier. I mean, it is a new year. I, I think it's a uh, once every couple years thing. So every odd year. 20, 2025 will be the next one. Um, chat. I, I, there's just so much. There's so much out here that is just nothing. How, how can there be so much nothing? Where's surely I deserve? Just just a brief. Okay, day six. The, my challenge of no pickaxe has come to an end. You'll be pleased to learn, or maybe not pleased to learn. So now the challenge. Hey, thank you! Guilty Spark! Crisco topped Eurekus. Eucharist. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that you are here. <laughs> I am glad uh, that you have made your presence known. And I hope that I can give you my presence in exchange. Yeah, this is a, this was always going to be a dead end, wasn't it? It's just going to leave me, it, it feels weird, but sometimes in Minecraft, things will do that to you, I guess. Um, is there anywhere else left, left to check? Yeah, these are all clearly dead ends. We could peek down them, but I don't know what we'd expect to find. Yeah, no, nothing that exciting. So instead, we'll go this way. We'll go negative X, negative Z. Or positive Z? Yeah, so negative Z, negative X is what I'm trying to say. There's four directions you can go, and it's hard to word them out. So using coordinates makes sense. But I'm getting broken today. So the next two choices are, for the next day, we can either have no armor or no eating. 
<laughs> oh no, chat. Come on. Okay, you know that those are the choices. I'm going to stick by them. I uh, <laughs> They both sound so terrible though. Um so thinking about it, no armor would be a challenge. Uh because I would lose about 60% of my resistance. No eating would be a challenge because it's the never, and this is where you take a lot of damage. So they're, they're both debuffs to my defense. Which one is more of a debuff? That's the question that I don't have an answer for. That Like, that that's such an open area. Usually when you find these, there's like, oh yeah, at the end there's another fortress. But in this case, no such luck. So we're just going to keep going this way now. We kind of have to go back in because we're too close towards the negative Z. Be safe. Says uh, Big Salmon. So uh, yeah, I uh, I think we're gonna I, I, we're gonna say it's another day now. Day six's poll has ended with no eating. <laughs> I have to be very safe now. So I've got to traverse the Never, find a Never fortress, and then beat the Never fortress without food. This means that I have to start walking just to make sure I don't I save all my regen for like enemies, monsters, and. Uh, pfft. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's it's. It'll, I'll do great. This is. It's not the worst thing I've gone through. It won't be the best either. Um. I uh. No armors makes piglins dangerous. That's true. No food also makes every mob dangerous. Thus, I mean, it's not a lot of piglins in these parts. Let me tell you. All these ser sadists seriously chose no eating. I think no eating is a little bit better because I have a shield. Um, and I've, yeah, I, I think no eating is better if I can make my hunger last. 20 minutes is a long time. Mm, this is great. This is wonderful. Um, okay, go. No, I need that back. I need that back real bad. Okay, so they've chosen to walk into my lava willingly. Very good of them. Have to say. Chose, chosen to die in it as well. It's a bold decision. Ouch. Okay, so you know what I was saying about preserving my hunger? I think that's gone out the window, chat. So I'm... Just just please don't use up my hunger shanks on that regen. I know you want to, Minecraft. But just don't do it. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, you just need regen potions or something. I can survive without food. Who who needs food in the never anyway? I my I, I personally uh, just get so, so travel sick that I don't even think I'd want to eat in this dimension. To be honest with you. Yeah, I... I'm taking back ownership over this. So I'm going to go up there just in case there's something for me. Might have to stack up a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it a lot. I wish I brought some uh, some of the stacky boys from the from the warp forest. Because I have a bunch of bone mill sitting around. It's fun how the, the never loot works together. It really is. I... I'm gonna have to go this way now. No sprinting. Isn't the never a beach? Man, the never sure is a beach. Never is the worst beach. Uh, okay, so just pour the lava towards him. Did not work as I intended. But that's okay. Somehow, he's decided to give up on me. Maybe we should pick up a, uh, a blue fungi. Just as, just as something to use, you know. Yeah, it might be smart. Let's just, just yeah, just as just as something to have, you know. Just like it's like having pepper spray when you live in the hood. Just, just you know, it's being it's a precaution to take, the very reasonable precaution. I'm gonna throw away the second iron sword, and the warp fungi, and I'm gonna pick up this in this slot instead. Okay, there we go. We're good. We 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 good. Hello, oh sorry I'm late. Says just real Lyles. Good to see you. Also, what about an arrow of regen? I'd have to punch myself in the face real hard for an hour of regen. It's not something I've never... It's not something I wouldn't consider doing. But I also would like to not. So getting down is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, oh, maybe it's not, actually. Yeah, this is fine. Go down there. Go down there. Go down here. And then there. Yeah, that was great. That went very smoothly, actually. Ooh. Um... In your best way to noob to neverite video, you thought, said the best place to mine iron was Y minus thirty two. I thought it was Y fifteen. I um I heard that comment a few times. I wonder 
every now and then there's something like that where I'm like, I fact checked it, but maybe I got it like uh, either either like people either I or everyone else has got it mixed up, and it's one of those things that I I don't actually know for sure, but I'm fairly certain the actual best le like because the correct actual best layer to mine for iron is 256, um, and so the act that it's kind of the the question you've got to ask is what's the second best place to mine for iron, and I think it's why mine is 32. Also, you're a fun guy yourself. You don't need another guy. Thank you. Don't punch yourself real hard in the face like that. It could be hard to explain the injury. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I get... When I have a bad day in Minecraft, I just start punching myself in the face. Uh, but it's okay. Because, you know, I I enjoy it. So, really, it'd be weirder if I didn't punch myself in the face. Okay, my, my ability to explore this never is, is atrocious. Gonna level... Um, I, uh, when I Google it, it tells me why 16 is the best for iron. Interesting. I feel like I checked, uh, so when I recorded that, because I wanted to be sure, I double checked by Googling. So, um, or maybe I double checked by looking at the, uh, the, the, the big graph. The, it's the, it's the one that we, uh, we accidentally forgot to put in the video. Um, it's one of those great shames of, like, when you say a bunch of things, it's like, that. There's a there is a graph there's a graph that Henrik Niebuhr put out when they changed the terrain generation of where to find ores. I think that says 32. Um, Google still says 11 for diamonds though. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> it's it's crazy how many people mine at Y11 probably because of that. Uh, very 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 weird to imagine. Okay, let's place. We good. We got it. Whew. Um, so now I'm just going this way a bunch. I'm gonna actually use these two things together. I'm just gonna get out of here. I don't... It's it's dangerous. Don't like it. Let's go. And then once we get to where we want to be, we break off the rest. And then we have another one to use. Okay, that's... I'm, that's I don't like that. That's not... That's not what I'm in the nether for. So I can't use food chat, which is starting to become a problem, because I have run out of natural uses for it. Um... Yeah, you know... Okay, one sec. Let's, let's, let's go check it. I am going to bet. So Google says best left for Iron Minecraft. It says between levels 80 and 384. What? what? Oh, that's from imdb.com. <laughs> Where did? How? Do, why is IMDb weighing in on the best layer to mine iron? Uh, and then Screen Rant says minus 24 to minus 56. Why 11 on Fanbyte? Uh, why 232 on Sports Skeeter? Hmm. Y16 in on Reddit um, and level 20 or below on the Minecraft forum. Man, I, I did not realize how there's just there's just one answer though, right? Um, there There is one objectively correct. I mean, I, also, I guess there's two answers, but there's there's not 25. <laughs> That's funny. That's uh Okay, um, I think I may have figured out how to go in facing the music tomorrow. Wish me luck in not getting fired. I do wish I wish everyone luck all the time and not getting fired, but especially if you don't feel like you deserve it. You know, when you feel like you deserve to get fired, it's a bit harder to to, to take the side. But you know, what? it's uh, if you if you think it's not even okay, then you know, what? I bet it's not. Okay, so I'm now safe and away from the hoglins. And since I I'm not going to regenerate health anyway, I might as well just start sprinting away to save life. Okay, well. That's why you don't sprint, maybe. I guess I would have taken more damage by not sprinting. But, oh, let me out of this. Don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, I... I've had a rough never. But we can turn it around. I've got I've got ender pearls. That's what I have to remind myself. Like, everything I need is is ahead of me. I've just got to make it, make it happen. So now I've gone to negative, negative. Uh, we've gone to negative, positive. We haven't gone to positive... We're moving on this way, so it's positive X, negative Z. That is a combination we have not tried, and so it is one that I must try. Um, it's very scary <laughs> to be in these sorts of areas, but we'll roll with it. It's fine. I, if there's ever been a place to use an enderpearl, this is it, right? Like, that's my portal. Let's just go for it, chat. You know, I've got spare, but I, I, this, this is why you have enderpearls. Oh, no. Okay, yep, that's why I have enderpearls. That reason right there. 
And now we're going to go out this way where the bastion is. And we're going to see if it leads me to a fortress. Oh, um, that is, I'm going to sit in here for a second and I'm going to go check the, uh, soundtrack. And you know, actually, let's go, let's check it, let's check a chunk bit. See if there is a nether fortress in that direction. Um, according to, so there should have been, let me, let me confirm. There is a bastion at, on this seed. I think I've. No, I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. What is the seed for this world? I used a really silly combination of numbers. For, for, <laughs> it's a fun seed. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find out where a fortress is on this seed. Because you know what? This is, this is a, a bad process. Every time I do it, I'm like, you know, not great. Let's give up. So 55511. Yeah, the closest never fortress to spawn is 555 blocks away on this seed, chat. 555 blocks. You have to go to 555x, 11z. 555x. So we're going to go that way. 500 more blocks. That's doable, technically speaking. It's not impossible. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do so without food most of the way because of our current predicament of the challenge. But that's also fine. Everything is fine. Um, I've got a chest, even. And if I just use a bit more never rack, I'll make it to the other side of this. And once I make it to the other side, I just land on one of these. Yeah, perfect. Then use some bone mill to make sure I get more. Better believe that's a lot more. In fact, you know, let's 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 grow them. Let's make sure we just have enough of these on me that I can spam them as much as I like. And let's go for a journey. Um, so yeah, that was uh. That was that. The the I, I can't believe that there are seeds in Minecraft where you have to travel 555 blocks for a fortress for your closest one for the for the fortress that is closest to my spawn. If you if you knew exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna make a big fool here. By the way, can I do it? I could. I I feel like I choke. I can't choke though. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, 500 blocks, let's go. I'm sprinting as far as I can, as fast as I can. If we get a nice journey, that'd be good. If we don't get a nice journey, that's fine. It's basically expected. Okay, well, we're out of, we're out of biome. Um, I'm going to sprint across this, land on these. It's a lot easier when the plants are already there. And we're going to try and just see the best way across this. Honestly, if there's ever been a time, I don't have a saddle, but this is the time that I need a strider the most. And there's there's no way for me to get one. But it's nice to know that it would have been good if I did have one, right? So now we need to get up. Um, if we play, say... Yeah, we'll just mine into the wall. It's easier. The main chatters say it's uh, not cheating. I've learned something new, says Xavier. I, uh, so just, uh, I, I think the... The weird thing about it is it's one of those things that has... I, I feel like when it first came out, it was probably generally considered to be like, well, it's, you know, if you want to do that for yourself. But nowadays, this, especially given that Bedrock is refusing to fix the generation bug, it starts to be like, well, why would you need it when there's a perfectly good seed tool there? It's a bit annoying to me, uh, but it's one that for challenges like this, I don't have any qualms of breaking. I think, in general, it's better to try not to. But when, you, when you're using something to fix basically a bug like that, it's like, yeah, just just on the off chance there's nothing there. It's a good idea. Like, I think, I think you wouldn't have to feel bad if you found a stronghold and then it was broken to go find a second stronghold. I think it's more power to you if you can do it without that, but still. Okay, we're, we're coming close to the end of our second day. Oh, our sixth day. So before the seventh starts... What should our challenge be? I mean, I <laughs> hope I can make it to the end of this day. Um, what should our next challenge be, Internet? You're going to be deciding. Have they actually said it's a bug? Uh, yeah, it's on the bug tracker as a confirmed. There's a weird thing about this, though. Like, um... Oh, no! I'm going to survive, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of those weird things, actually, that Minecraft has... Of like, they have a lot of these 
kiss every strider, says Tila. <laughs> you know, every strider deserves a kiss. Whether they're going to get one or not is sadly a different question. Uh, yeah, if I could just find a nice vertical plane like that, it'd be worth just doing one of these. You go real crazy high, and then up we go, and then crouch. And replace the bone meal with some warp planks. Or some neverack, whichever one we want. But we're up here now. In fact, some more. Oh no, don't don't come close to me. Okay, it's fine. It's a piglin. It's not anything else. So we're going to grow a few more of these, actually. Um, I don't know how many more, but we're just going to go even higher up. See what we reach. Oh, what we got. Okay, place a block of... A Oh, we have to go all the way to the top of these, actually. Then place a block there, and then crouch onto it. I'm doing just great right now. Thank you for asking, chat. I think I could survive this fall if I mess it up, so let's go. Okay, didn't mess it up. Oh, we are still 200 blocks away. Again, in, in the exact perfect direction. If you imagine, this is the equivalent of having, like, x-ray eyes, but for a structure. Knowing exactly where, knowing the right direction to go... It's still not enough to get me there. I don't think I would have found this by myself. I would have gone thousands of blocks. Next challenge is not to set yourself on fire. That's impossible. Actively impossible. Um, I, uh, by the way, good to see you, David. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. Oh, no, not right now. I, later. Um, so I've still got 12 ender pearls. I'm about to get some blaze roots, right? If everything goes according to plan. And everything will be good. What's the reason behind no Star Wars? I suspect it's some sort of inside joke. Uh, the basic reason behind it. You know, to, to get... So, I'm I'm a big believer in explaining inside jokes. No! Okay. I'm fine. Uh, I really need the next day challenge to come in soon. Chat. I'm excited for it. I'm worried for it, though. Oh, no food. There's been a time. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to kill them. Right? Um, okay. So, that's... There we go. It's from from gone. Um, I can do this. Let's prove that. Okay, I'm just gonna go through the walls sir. I'm just gonna. At a certain point, your your health is worth more than everything else. I'm gonna stay back because some lava might come. Lava does love to do that, and we're gonna just poke out over here when it's safe to do so. As you can see, it is right now. Pick up the Neverack. Place a few. Make a lovely little pathway. Um, down here. Yeah, this this is good for me. Oh, there's another there's another ghast. Oh man, I've never felt so I've never felt so precarious in the Never. No! I needed the food. Okay, I didn't need the food, chat. You saw me, I started, and then I said no. I'm dying this way. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this, but I can. I can. I can push on. You, I don't see why I can't. Um, but we are going to be even more cautious now. I'm going to mine through the wall for as long as I humanly can. Um, okay, everything's fine. Um, so we're going to keep an eye out for blazes, obviously, and for ghasts. Very big problem with ghasts. Um, so it's funny that tomorrow's challenge that is in, currently in the lead is vegan food only. It's very fun. But trust me, chat. Okay, 52% 50, of people say for day seven the challenge is vegan food only. Which is funny. I, I feel like a little bit dulled down from yesterday. But also means I'm going to have to make these five baked potatoes last so long. So we'll eat three. Let the hunger come in. Then eat some more. I'm gonna try. What the blaze is just staring at me from so far away? How could you possibly know I'm here? Um, so we're gonna shoot the blaze from this distance, and he's just he's despawned. Okay, that's fine. These blazes also seem to know exactly where I'm at, so that's fine. We're gonna shoot them from this distance as well. Um, ideally you'd use a sword for this, but since we don't have looting, this is the same. Efficiency, and there's much less of everything else. There we go. That's it. He, I don't think he dropped anything. I feel like I would have seen it. Same. There. Is this the same blaze from before? It's a new blaze. So you're going to keep shooting them until there's none left. 
Wow, this one baked potato, by the way, healed me all the way from half a heart to seven. Incredible. I, uh, 2% voted libertarian. 52% <laughs> 46. So Minecraft, so, uh, YouTube polls will round up for both options individually. Not realizing that it makes it look like, uh, people voted for options that did not even get counted. Um... Okay, we're coming in. I'm coming in hot, coming in hard. I'm gonna make a special little base here that only I can access. Um, yeah, and so we just need to make a like a, a cliffside approach like that with enough jumping up points for me, but not for mobs. Okay, I'm out. I've used up all my hunger now, but I think I'm ready to do this. I'm gonna make a lovely staircase down. Gonna, gonna be better than any of you can imagine. It's gonna be the best staircase. However, oh, I feel like I saw a mob there. Nope, we're fine. No mobs. Good to see. Um, yeah, we we have secured our way back up. I'm just gonna do it right now. I have to jump up here, then up there, then up there, and then it's safe. We're gonna build a little thing there. <laughs> this is, uh, and then maybe like a couple things over here but otherwise yeah this is this is great chat uh build a little roof stop any other mobs coming in that that feels safe in my opinion i'm not a health and safety inspector but this does me just great now let's go in there and let's let's kill some fellas um i'm gonna knock this guy off actually you know I, i've got enough um i've got enough arrows that i can genuinely just afford to kill stuff Entirely from a distance, just for the fun of it. Uh, I can hunt for sport, in other words. Okay. You guys, I'm hunting you for sport, too. Can't stop me. Got a lovely enchanted... Okay, let's free more of these. You want to come? You want to you do it? You, you, wanna, you think you can fight me? You can't. So we're going to get some bones from this, and then also some stone swords. The stone swords have no value to me. And even do the bones. Oh, there's a blaze spawner. Perfect. Okay, chat. I am, I am about to be made here. But um, unlike most maids, I won't even be cleaning anything. Um, the only thing I intend to do is get me to the Ender Dragon. No, no suspicious activity here whatsoever. Okay, so there is a that. This is an annoying situation to be in. I feel like I'm so, so, so close. Yet so, so, so far. Um, I could dig through this using my fist. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to... Oh. Unexpected. Um, I'm going to dig through here. Not using my fist. Apparently this pickaxe had a lot of, lot of life left in it. And now that we're doing this, we just dig down a little bit. And a little bit more. That would be great. Uh, Tukat always dies to lava and has never once died to the Burton. That is a factual statement right there. No one can tell you it's not. Whew, I don't think anyone would tell you it's not, but... Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of blazes spawning. The only question is whether we care. Um... I don't know... Did I have a really bad estimate on where these blazes... Oh, one came in to my tunnel. That works for me, I guess. That's my first blaze rod. Got on. Okay. So, I feel like I should be there. I guess I'm going to go a little bit to the right. So, let's stagger. Boo! I mean, a little bit to the left. We're going to go this way. See how it works. Whew. Okay. So, we now can see the blazes. And all we got to do is make a way for them to get to me. I've got to watch out from behind because there's some sneaky blazes out there. But otherwise, I'm doing great. Yeah, this is wonderful. Honestly, let's make a little hole through there. Let's break a Let's break through this fence. It would it'd be better with a pickaxe. Don't get me wrong. Let's just break through it anyway. And now they can see me. They're gonna come and try and get me. Uh, I don't know if this is working in my favor. Actually, I'm gonna eat the baked potato. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. So I'm eating vegan food only today, which means mushroom stew is the only way I can replenish my health if I need it after this. Uh, and I could really do have like a trap door or something right now. Okay, let's just let's just bite the bullet on this one. Let's just break that. 
If we break that, we can get in here. And if we're in there, I can pick up the blaze rod from before. And once we get enough blaze rods, everything's good. All my problems go away. Blaze rod time. Oh, they've given up on... Okay. okay. Oh, what happened there? Okay. What's happening here? Oh, bad things as well. Okay, so he's going to attack me. That's an inevitability. Oh, I've got the defense for that, though. Nice! Okay, I'm on three blaze rods. And I know I had a find a fourth. Right in front of me, apparently. It's always right in front of you. Uh, but just down there, there is another blaze rod. So we're just going to sneak in. Get it. Sneak out. Oh, there's a blaze. Good, you're gone. Okay, there's going to be another one right here. In front of me now. Don't know when. But he's about to spawn. Um, making this mushroom stew is going to be important. Do I have any bowls? I do have bowls. I've got brown mushrooms. I just need red mushrooms and I can make some stew. And that will alleviate my, my hunger quite a bit. Um, okay. Nothing. That's fine. This is honestly one of the best ways to do it in a challenge like this is Ryan White. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm honestly pretty, uh, pretty impressed of the, with the, the success of my strategy so far. Better than expected, for sure. Okay, does anyone see any red mushrooms? I see a brown mushroom, which makes me think we might be able to find some reds. Um, maybe we come up here. Oh, wait. No, that's a... You should be able to make some funky mushroom stew of this. You can't, though. And that's that's okay. We'll accept that. So let's come back to the blaze spawner, because I'm hearing a blaze. I hear a blaze incorrectly. So we'll just stand here awkwardly until that happens. And then we'll, we'll lure them into the tunnel, like Cat says. Um... If I just stand back here, they will slowly filter in one by one. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you You think you're outsmarting me by coming in the tunnel? You're falling into the blaze murder pit. Okay, there's, they are outsmarting me by not dropping their rods, actually. Yeah. Okie dokie. Not, not going to do it. Blender Dragon. Got it, says Chillis Bean. Um, so... Wow, very tragic actually. The come come over here. Come it's it's good over here. You'll like it over here, friends. It's real nice. Real nice. Just come through come through that little tunnel. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Yeah, there's, there's a little murder pit and everything. Um I feel like layout here is kind of weird, but I'm also not super familiar with fortresses. Yeah, something about this fortress is odd. I can tell you that with a guaranteed fact. Um is it meant to be? That's a different question. Different answer, probably. Use slabs and create your own farm. You know what? You're right. Why Why am I out here killing them manually when I have a farm? Can you believe there are people who start Minecraft by punching cows rather than making a making a automatic melon farm? I can't believe it. Also, okay. I'm going for it anyway. It's fine. This is, this is faster. Um, means I can deal with my next problem sooner. Just want some blaze rods, though. You've, you're confused, Nightbot. <laughs> you know, actually, it's nice for him to say goodnight anyway. Maybe maybe that's... Wait, actually, you didn't say anything for, it to, for Nightbot to just tell you to say goodnight. Why, why is Nightbot doing that? <laughs> uh, good morning, says Kevin Tosh. I, uh, sorry, I, I, missed, I missed a few desserts earlier. What, what good desserts have you had recently, chat? Could you, could you get me a little food curious? Uh, Dash has had a trifle. Someone had a good donut. Oh, I'm I'm someone, by the way. Um, what else have people had recently? Okay, I, I desperately need a red mushroom now. Without one, I will die. With this vegan food challenge, um, this will go poorly. Seven blaze rods is enough, though. I could just accept seven and move on. Yeah, I'm going to go for an eight. This is so far away, I never want to come back. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to lure them in the tunnel. If there's this many of them, it has to be that way. Um, peek around the corner. Wait for them to do their thing. Give me a... There we go. I've got my blaze rod. I'm getting out of it. No more of this for me. I am opting out. And that's great. Let's go. Do, do, do. Oh, no. Why at the last minute? Why are you here? What are you possibly... What business do you have in this part of the world, friend? Oh. Okay. So now, red mushroom. Let's hunt. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, but I've got I've got blaze rods. I've got ender pearls. Now we've got to use them sensibly, and 
I, I pick up brown, brown mushrooms, but just the other type of mushroom would be nice too, Minecraft. I would like those a lot more, in fact. Come on. Okay. Need the other type of mushroom. Red. If you see any... No. No. Okay, got it. I, I, I reversed the arrow flow at least. Red mushrooms. Not brown. <laughs> I've never seen so many of one type. There we go. Red mushroom. Okay. I'm eating at least one bowl of soup right now. One bowl of soup. We'll make sure that I don't turn into goop. Ooh, let's go. Mushroom stoop. Yeah, that's... It'll keep, it'll keep me alive and sprinting to the second red mushroom, I hope. Do you see one? Down there? Nope, don't see any. Very, very, very uh, interesting never. But I'm, ma I'm making it through. If it helps... Um, Used to love creme brulee, but can't find a vegan one. A flapjack says Sevia. Oh, I love flapjacks so much. Nutella cheesecake was awesome. Every time I have a Nutella flavored dessert, I'm like, this is just one of the best flavors. I don't know how. I used to hate it as a child. Like, I remember it ruined my day when, when I think it was my brother was like, oh yeah, you know, you know Nutella. It's not chocolate. It's nuts. You can taste the difference between this and chocolate spread. And then you you have it and you're like, no, you can. Why, why have we been convinced? But I think as I'm getting older, my taste buds are changing or something like that. Because Nutella is just the exact spot. It's The, the nuttiness makes it taste healthy now. Because, you know, like, society spent so long convincing us nuts are good for you. And all that noise. And so I'm like, oh, look what a healthy snack I'm having. All this Nutella. Uh, I am, I've, I've got a superfood. Um, imagine uh, someone walking down the street and seeing noises from the other end of the block. Also, salted milk says Squid Bowl. Is that a real dessert? Or is that like a... Oh, okay. Is that like a joke dessert? I mean, I'm, I'm down with joke desserts. It sounds delicious, too. I'd, I'd have some. Just want to make sure before I get my hopes up. Also, is mushroom stew... Yeah, I guess it's just two mushrooms in a bowl. Making sure it's vegan, chat. A baked potato, you could argue, in real life is not vegan because you put butter in it. But in Minecraft... No such argumentation exists. <laughs> I went so far down. Uh, I guess the terrain went so far down, really. Um, I just followed it. Let's make another bowl of soup. I'm doing great, chat. Okay, I, I am surviving day seven's challenge. Great. I'm killing it. Are mushrooms vegan? They're not plants. Um, there's a funny... Oh, so here's the thing, right? In general, when you categorize everything that exists... We go into, there is the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, and modern modern scholars will say that mushrooms are their whole own thing. They're, they're slightly closer related to animals than plants in terms of actual science, but they feel closer to plants in terms of how they exist. But they have brain functions that are much closer to what humans have. Um, and it's, it's funny though, because we... We think of our brain as being this really amazing thing because we have so many years of art telling us, like, isn't it crazy what your you brain does? But actually, it's like our brain is not there to be amazing. You know, like, what is the purpose of life is an interesting question because it's like, well, you know, there's, there is no... It's not... We, we weren't designed with... I mean, like, in, in the most interpretations of the world... It's not that the brain needs to be designed for some amazing... So glad there was not lava down below me. Um, the brain doesn't need to be um, designed for some incredible, amazing thing. The fact that it exists is kind of the amazing thing by itself. Um, okay. I had to dodge that pretty hard. Also, I can't believe she survived another hit. Hey, nice! No, not nice! How did I get lava struck from that? Okay, this is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, where are you? Bad time. Why are you choosing not to hit me right now? Okay, he's teleported away. I'm gonna eat the stoop. You going for it? Where are you? What? What's what's up? Okay, let's go. Go into pearl. Oh, knocked into the sky. I'm dead now. There's no way around that. Oh, wow. Lava today has not been not been my enemy. Survived a lot of things I didn't think I should. Feel good about that, to be totally honest with you. Whew. Okay, so now we just have to get home. I've got gold on, so I can just stack around and over this. 
Yeah, we'll just do it. We'll just, we'll just, we'll, we'll go for an easy life. We'll make a big stack up. Actually, yeah, we'll make a big, big pile. Oh, no, we won't. Not with you there, we won't. Okay, Mr. Piglin, please do your business. <laughs> okay, nope. Because it's my job now. Um, I'm just going to make a big pile of that in that direction. Cook you alive. And there we go. Replace this with that. Make a big stack up so we can just go over this. Lovely chat. We have done it. I love how Toy Cat refers to Ghast as female. I mean, I they, they scream in all the time. They're... Uh, wait, actually, so on the, the the rule is, is making fun of women not okay. But if you just throw the word white before it, then actually that's like a politically salient point about, uh, you know, like uh, uh, race relations and all that noise. And so, uh, ghast is... Oh, man, I'm just going to climb to the top of this. I'm just, just going to do that for myself. Um, I'm going to hope this whole thing doesn't get... Oh, no, please stop. Please stop. Please... Please, not right now. I don't know what I just did. I don't know how I just did it. I don't I don't like what's happening. I don't want to be a part of this. Just just go away. I really want to leave the never in one piece, and you are getting in the way of that plan. <sighs> okay, so let's go back up. Uh, Took out me screaming too, apparently. <laughs> you know, um... Okay, so now we got a little pillar block here. We're out. We're good. So now we just do the same again. Um... Place a, place a, one of these, bone mill a ton, and then let's get out of there. Uh, but yeah, they, also inside of them they have tears, and as we all know, something something men don't cry, uh, hashtag toxic masculinity. Um, yeah, if you scream at the ghast, it makes the ghast self-conscious, she's like, do I sound like that? And then she stops, so really, the screaming is a good thing. Um, yeah, I, uh, I mean, white women do deserve to the right setting. I don't think any group of people as a whole really deserve criticism. That, that'd be my hot take. I think anyone who thinks that entire groups of people deserve criticism, like, it's it's a very, very slippery slope between that and the worst things we do as a species, right? I think, uh, in, in my opinion, obviously. Obviously, you know, like I, um, hashtag no YouTubers. Um, oh no! I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm glad I'm in the overworld, because that is all good. So, I'm still on a vegan food diet until night comes. Wait. You know, I think another day has started, chat. What do you reckon? Whew. And now we got to go find the end. So actually, first though, what's the point in finding the end if you don't have a nice base? Do, can we, do we all feel that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I get my, my dreams... Uh, to come true. I don't have many never resources, but I got this lovely ancient debris. Yeah, I'm gonna make a nice flag with the ancient debris, I think. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be real good. So let's go get in our house, and let's make a modern modern houseboat. So the first thing we're going to need is an axe. Obviously, it's a uh, can't make an iron onion without breaking a few ironing boards or whatever they say. Um, and so, we are just gonna put some stuff away. Don't want the paper anymore. Actually, now is the time for the paper. Let's let's make some fireworks. Um, let's put the paper away now. Let's put the warp fungus away, the neverite scrap. And now, let's make the... Uh, oh, no. Uh, glass house. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make this into a high-end boat chat. That is the plan. Come along for the journey. So I've got 29 glass so far, right? And it's going to be a lot more. I have no idea why I'm so bad at inventory management, but I'll, I'll learn one day. So this this layer right here that already has where the holes are going to be, we're just going to dig it out a bit more, and we're going to replace it all with glass. This will lead to a very high-end aesthetic. Um, oh, this is hard to get on top of, actually. And I'm hoping that we like it. So then we'll remove all of these blocks too. Go. Okay, so this goes quite a bit out. It goes all the way to the side of this block. And then over there. Oh, isn't this nice? I'm going to remove this little fence post. And then on the other side of that goes a block. And then the next block is one further out than this. So it goes over there. 
right? Yeah. And then the rest of this, we're just gonna have in a fairly straight line. There to there to there. So this is gonna look really, really classy, right, chat? Because you know, this is this isn't just any boat. This is a modern boat. This is this is one that's gonna shape the ages. And also, it's also, by the way, my, my turtle pet is still alive. My my only challenge was to keep him alive for one day. I kept him alive for several, so I'm an overachiever. Keep that in mind. Then I'm gonna use my crimson stem. I do have some of that shit that's sitting around. And I'm gonna make myself something fun with it, which is to say, I wanna make a door. Why do I need a door? Well, you know what, this is my private cabin. Need a way to make that clear from the outside. So I'm going to... Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Just <laughs> place it there on the other side though. And then put this in the ceiling. Is this ceiling? Yeah, there we go. Just, there we go. So now we got a little private cabin. Uh, really we should like, let's move the other half of that to the other side. So we'll put half there and then half just on top of that door. How did that, wait, what? <laughs> okay, if half goes on the door, Oh, is the door actually on this block? Okay, I see how that happened then. So we need to... We'll put one there and one there, and then we can remove this block. Damn, no, no, yep, yeah, it's still fine. And then we'll place one over there. And now that now that looks like a deliberate decision. Perfect. Then what we need to do is we need to uh, build up these masts. So there's meant to be three of them. But let's be honest, no one would notice this one if it were missing. So we're gonna make it go missing. And then we're gonna pile it high, two whole logs. And at the top of this goes an ancient debris. For the other one, we're gonna have uh, free base salt. Yep, seems good to me. So this is gonna show that I've been to the nether. One, two, three. Followed by one of these at the top. Actually, I guess we've already got one at the top. Yeah, you know, that looks great to me. And um, then obviously we've got some string. So we need to use the string to make something useful. Then we're going to turn some of these planks into something uh, that we can combine those together with. Oh man, this is <laughs> this this is so bizarre. You have to crouch to get into my home, <laughs> but it's good. It's good design otherwise. It's really great design otherwise. And then we're going to play, make a painting, and you know what's going to go in that painting chat? Yeah, you guessed it. It's it's going to go on this because this is my boat. No, that's not great. I, I'm going to put the painting somewhere a little bit stealthier. I think maybe I'll put the painting above my my door. Because then people will look at it and they'll be like, oh, I didn't even know there was a doorway there. Yeah, this is nice. This is this is the SS good vibes. Welcome to it, by the way. Wow, I'm having such a good time here. Such a good time that I want to make some blaze powder. Um, we'll make 12 of it for now. Want to make some blaze powder, make some eye offenders, and find out where the stronghold is. So if the, if the sun is that way... And then I'm just going to throw it at the sun, see where it goes. So it's going about a 60 degree angle to the west. So I'm at 101, 107, and it's gone to 11895. So that is about uh, 11 that way. You know what? Whatever. It's gone, it's gone like this way. <laughs> we'll follow the vibe. Um, and so we're going to go to sleep for the night. And then we're going on a voyage tomorrow. Uh, and it's going to be great. We're going to be able to eat non-vegan food again. Um, ideally, we would have more blocks of us. Yeah, that's the ideal. Can you kill the trail trader real quick? Might need a lead. You know, okay, that's that's reasonable. This is, this is everyone's favorite friend. And uh, got bad news for if you like him. Because he's gone now. Oh, I could have traded with him probably. Anyway, we got some leads. Uh, you know, call me, call me a, the fourth biggest city in the United Kingdom by metro area population, because boy, am I starting to feel like I could do with a lead or two. Um, okay, so welcome to the SS Good Vibes, where gamer rage doesn't exist. Honestly, Minecraft's a chill game. If you yell at ghast every now and then, you'll get all your bad feelings out. Rather than yelling at anyone in your life who doesn't deserve it and might have bad feelings about that, yell at a ghast. The, uh, the only- also, wow, it's so interesting that you can walk up this staircase, but you can't walk down it. There's something- something about that that's interesting. Okay, let's go this direction. For as long as it takes. We're gonna sort my inventory again, actually. We're, we're gonna do one last- one last big, big whip of that. Before we go. 
And uh, then we're gonna have a moment where we can all appreciate how beautiful my boat is. Oh, I can't. Okay, there we go. We're in. In goes that and that and these and that and that and that and that and that and that. That's probably enough. Uh, we'll also make some uh, iron into that. And then make the gold into this. Then put the gold in here. And yeah, that's that's decent. That's that's a good that's a good attempt, that is. Um, if I have any food in here, actually. I've got one carrot, one rotten flesh, and eleven spider eyes, so <laughs> uh petition to rename Leeds to Sheffields. That joke was so British, haha, <laughs> says uh, Dasher. Leeds mentioned, says Ash. <laughs> you know, that's that that's the real uh, that's the real winner in today's streams. Okay, so day eight's challenge is can't use anything made using wood, uh, which won over no new items in inventory. So today I can't use anything involving wood, which means I can't make <laughs> mushroom stew. Man, every I, I also can't use my bow. Uh, all my weapons. <laughs> what can I use? <laughs> I can't make a boat. Everything uses wood. Okay, I can I can use I can use a pair of shears. I can kill a oh man ah oh. <laughs> no chest no arrows either. <laughs> okay, no no wood, just vibes today. Okay, that's that's a fine challenge. I can live with that. I I who needs wood anyway, right? This is this is one of those days that we're gonna need to end as soon as we can. Um. No bed, too. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. You can use lava. Okay, lava. Acceptable. Fireworks. Acceptable. Um, cook pork chops. On the menu again. Yeah, they're not made using any wood. If we could find some food on the way, that would be handy, though. I, I don't know if I can survive forever on free cooked pork chops. Technically, buckets were made using wood since the crafting table used to make them had wood. I think we're going for first level made using wood. Because, uh, yeah, you could argue every crafting recipe in the game requires wood. Uh, but, you know, maybe, maybe you'd be right to argue that, actually. So this is what the world of beach looks like. Oh, look, there's a, there's a fire over here. Who would have done that? Did you know 99% of people who live in houseboats need to be subscribed to IBX Toy Cat for insurance reasons? Ooh, um, let's, let's do it. We, 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 we got, we got some in here. I don't know how good it is, but we are getting it. Okay, so there's a chest that I never checked out earlier. No, oh, I can't use it. <laughs> there's a, there's a boat here that forgot to, you know, it's easy to forget when you're subscribed to IBX Toy Cat. It's easy to, to miss the signs. But being subscribed is a great idea. And uh, also check out your shield. Yeah, I can't use the shield. It's in my inventory, it's in my slot, but I can't crouch to defend myself using it. Did you keep the gunpowder? No. What would I need gunpowder for? Um, use TNT. Oh yeah, I could get down to the... Oh, interesting, yeah. I can make some real progress that way. Now I'm just gonna have to punch blocks. It's what I'm, I've committed to. It's, it's how we're gonna have to do things. It's great. Also, this... No, wood one is mean, says Savior. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely the, I figured no new items in inventory would be way harder. But no, no wood items is a, is a tricky one in itself. Okay, so we're just gonna throw another eye fender. It's going that way. And so we just hope that we don't lose it. Okay, perfect. Just gonna perfectly follow it this way. Totally unrelated fact, everyone who was subscribed to uh, gets 10% more loot from chest. In fact, actually, let's do something clever. Let's go this way a bunch. And then we'll we'll compare the angles of the two to work out how much further we're going to have to go. I've got enough ender piles to make a spare IF ender or two. So we, we can afford to do that. It'll be great. Um, I mean, you can collect rotten flesh for the entire 20 minutes. <laughs> but I'd have to use my fist, right? It's so I'd, I would use up more hunger than it took. I'm definitely just hoping for a boat. That is my entire functional strategy. Uh, it is weird that we haven't seen one in a while. Like, this is a beach biome. It's meant to be filled with them. But we don't have any right now. Get fish for food. Yeah, if we find a big ocean, we might just accept the fish for food. So it's not a straight line yet, which is a bad sign. We're going to be going probably well over a thousand blocks, chat. 
Who's ready for a journey? You better be, because we're going on one. Journey! Okay, so from here you can see there is a uh, shipwreck to the right, a shipwreck to the middle, and a shipwreck to the left. Oh, and a shipwreck to my forward. So this is great. Okay, so the shipwrecks can contain food. Earlier on, they were a godsend. Um, and we've got to get in there without using anything wood related. So we're just, we're just going to punch in my with my fist. I think it's the easiest way. It feels demeaning to be this late in the game and not be able to use wood. But, uh, you know, out feels demeaning. Oh, the sugarcane inside the boat. <laughs> Did you know that, chat, that sugarcane would break uh, shipwrecks? I love that I learn something new every day. Um... No offense to a cat, but that was very cringe. Oh no, you don't like me making train noises. Chicka, 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 chicka. It's cringe. Wait, right, I've got to do the, do the spinning around. Oh wait, wait, no, wait, wait. Chicka, 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 chicka. Not gonna stop me. <laughs> no, I, um, I think that anyone enjoying themselves can be cringe if you let it be. But if you want a world where no one enjoys themselves, there. Oh, also, how am I going to get up this thing? I have to, like, really make a delicate parkour. Because I can't use the wood myself. I just have to break it. It's a whole thing. You touch the wooden chest. Oh, that that is using... Oh, you're right. I can't, e I can't even use the chests. I can't... There's, I, I, can't even do I can't even use the chests. I can't make any value from it. That is... That sucks. I, I feel like a chest... Yeah, you... I, I, Lomish Treble said, like, well, chests don't count. And I feel that, right? Like... You're not using a chest, you're opening it, but I guess that is its use. So never mind. <laughs> you use wood to break wood. I use the wood to break the wood. The paper in your inventory is illegal. If you dislike cringe, you're definitely in the wrong stream, as that's essentially the point around here. <laughs> Says uh, Robin Brooks. Good to see you, by the way. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to kill a lot of fish. I'm going to have to kill a ridiculous number of fish. And then I'm going to have to cook them up later. Somehow. Yeah, that's that's my plan. It'll work, probably. Um, yeah, I think uh, there's a... Like, I've I tried to dissect this a few times, because the... I think there are some social behaviors you're inclined to think are cool, and some that you're inclined to think are not, right? And so what cringes is when people do things that are really in that not category. Um, but what that not category is, is kind of based on your socialization. On the things that people around you have said are good or not good. And that makes... that That is a a, a a rational way to come to your beliefs. But also there's something about it that's uncomfortable to me. The idea of like, oh yeah, the every belief that I have about everything is just because someone at one point thought it was... You know, like, I, I saw someone at one point do it. Because then you think about the people that you're surrounded with most of the time and that you'd be taking these opinions from. It's like, do you really want to do it though? Are these are these the people that you want to uh, ha trust? You want to entrust of your uh, future making? The answer should be no. I hope it's not. I apologize. I specialize in giving my kids secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> it's the way. It's the way it's got to be done. The way it's got to be done. So I can't use the chest in that ruined fort lever. Chat, okay, no wooden items is the most ridiculous one you've picked. I, and I'm gonna have to, I've got a whole rest of a day of this. And I can't go to sleep very easily. So I've got a, I've got a night of it too. So I'm gonna have a great time. I'm gonna have a real great time. I don't know how I'm gonna survive, honestly. But I'm gonna do my best. Break the chest. Yeah, breaking the chest isn't using a chest. Senel Mamet. It's breaking. Yeah, breaking is not using. We have to accept, otherwise the world starts not working. So we'll do great. But yeah, I, uh, I I think on a, like, cool uncool is a weird, like, social signal thing with no real meaning to it. And that's why I've always been cautious. I, I think what people call this, right, is um, you have, like, two choices. The Some people are like, oh, yeah, you're a, such an alpha if everyone loves and respects you and blah, 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 blah. And you're such a... What is it? Like, you're such a beta if you're subservient to everyone else. So there's, the, people make up these these dumb words with dumb meanings. But one of the the weird underlying points in that... Well, so we got golden carrots. So we did we did get food sorted. Is like, oh yeah, and there are people who are like are separate to that and make their own rules. If you if, if you had to fit fit into that that binary system, right? You know, if you 
if you were choosing not to not be non-binary, um, then at that point, wouldn't the best decision to be be the one where you don't have to follow everyone else's rules? Like, what do do you, do their do people's rules excite you that much? So, so cat can't use crafting tables. You got a good point. Yeah, today no crafting tables. So all these all these iron nuggets aren't gonna be useful. Do 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 do. Thank you, Darren Hughes, for gifting 10 memberships. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. Um, welcome to the new wife. Indeed, welcome everyone to the Cool Cat Club. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. Do, 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 um, I'm an unwilling wife. Is this marriage legal? Yep, you better believe in the state of Toy Cat, funded by Toy Cat Taxes, by the way. Um, in the state of Toy Cat, only one party needs to consent for marriage. Um, it's a very, it's a very bad rule. It's, uh, it's caused a lot of problems over the years. But one of the best bits is it means... Also, hey! I thought you'd be entering the end by now. I'm running out of ideas, says uh, Big Salmon. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll work out the next the next day. We've got it covered. You'd end it right now. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna eat the pork chops now. I've gotta be so on guard. Uh, so if you just joined the stream, um, I cannot eat any, uh, I can't eat any, oh sorry, I can't use any wooden tools. And I've got my eye offender, so I'm ready to get to the ender dragon. I've just gotta be there first. Do, 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 do. Never write tools only. Is the same. Oh, so um, as uh, Kat says, if you want to, uh, if you want to have the annulment be processed in time, make sure to go to streamlabs.com/toycat. It's the best way to support a stream that you uh, like and care about. Obviously, I. It's funny. I um, I feel like uh, the tipping thing comes up on streams every now and then. It's like a very controversial thing. Like being European, talking about tipping is a way to uh, get yourself in a lot of trouble um, with North Americans. But the, one of the most interesting. Um, things about it is almost everyone agrees, unless you're a service worker or, you know, you really uh, dislike service workers. Um, the, the best system is one where, like, oh, yeah, if you really liked something, you could pay. But if you didn't pay something because you were okay with it or didn't like it, then you wouldn't feel like you were robbing someone of their livelihood. That's what I like about YouTube. Unlike, um, yeah, some, some streamers will choose to be, like, just so you guys know, don't go to streamlabs.com slash toycat. Not paying rent this month, something like that. But uh, who knows how I'm paying for my bills on my new PC. Um, I, I am buying a new PC soon, by the way. I'm excited. Uh, it is expensive. But rather than being like, yeah, I can't get this big thing. Instead, it's just like, yeah, you support the thing, leave a tip. It will make you, uh, genuinely supporting things you like makes you feel good. One of the reasons the tipping system is so effective uh, where it exists is because, yeah, actually, you feel good about leaving the money. Um, and someone receives good about you liking something enough to leave them money. Um, ah, the tip talk. Um, and so yeah, if you ever like a stream, uh, YouTube has a built-in super chat function if you just want to use your Google, uh, setup. I know some people are cautious of it. Or you can use Streamlabs. Um, some streamers will use something called Stream Elements. In the case of this stream, link down below, streamlabs.com slash It's a great way to help out a stream that you like. I feel like I've gone two and a half hours. Am I allowed a, a little plug for myself here? If I'm not, then my bad. Get right back to the challenge. But uh, yeah, no, more seriously. I hope you, I hope you've enjoyed today's challenge. I want to have more. Uh, the I I, I want to be able to do more fun challenge streams like this. And I feel like a big part of that is uh, how much people like enjoy uh, the stream. Also, um, if you can't tip with your money, tip with your like button. It does nothing. But it's the same thing I think. Where if you if you leave a like on a video. You making that active effort to do so genuinely will make you feel like you must have liked that video more. Like, uh, we sometimes have to reckon our ideals with our actions, and that is one of the funny places where that happens. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, so it was somewhere in that water. I hate that, um, but <laughs> I guess we're gonna make it work. We gotta dig down somewhere below this ocean. Um, love that. This is great. This is exactly what I wanna see. So the way it works is the, we're just gonna continuously throw our eye offenders about halfway between the previous two piles until we get good. I have a pole for entering the end instead of for a new day, just so you know. Um, okay, so no jumping is a weird one. 
but it is technically doable. And I don't see the other option right now, but that looks look more op more. I guess now the eye fender went down, right? Oh, it did. Chat, where did my eye fender go? I don't see it. Does anyone see? Okay, I, mu I must be just above the stronghold if it went down. Do you, do you see it, internet? Okay, so we're going to break some sand. Not a very good beach if it's made of gravel, but a different point for a different time. And now we're immediately at stone. So I have, I have no idea how I'm going to do this without wooden tools. Also, where did my eye fender go? I, I, I don't want to be too mad about that. I feel like I'm not allowed to be. But where, where's my eye fender? Okay, I'm going to break. I'm going to make a little cross here. Make sure I know exactly where this is later. It went downwards. Um, oh, man. Use water bucket to get yourself up. I'm going to make a, a hole like this. Um, okay, yeah. If I just... I can work out a strategy for this. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to dig some sand with my fist. Oh, there it is, actually. Oh. Chat, that's so odd. How did it end up over there? Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to be very careful. It'll be in a cave. I'm going to go to this weird thing here. And I'm going to throw it again. Okay. Let's throw. So where is it going? It's going that way. So why did it go down before? Oh. Okay, so we... Ignore whatever just happened. Get sand and make it dig down free and plug it. Yeah, that's my that's that's vaguely my plan, cat. I'm hoping it works. But I'm gonna need like a solid block for the roof with my mini structure. Um so I'm gonna have to dig enough sand to make that. Work. Okay. So I'm gonna throw this again. I'm gonna like stack up a few blocks, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna just Okay, go. So it's still that way quite a bit. Please don't die. I, I'm impressed none of these have died so far. This, the RNG today has been hit and miss, but I'm glad it's hitting more than it misses today. No experience would be great after the dragon fight. <laughs> yeah, that's a... <laughs> okay, well, what we got here then? We got a spider. Stacking is jumping. Um, yeah, right now, so the challenge isn't taking effect yet because it's, it's going to start tomorrow, obviously, just to be clear. Um, in the meantime, I'm, I'm working within the no using wood. Otherwise, I just mine straight down. I'd be in a perfectly fine situation. So I'm going to follow this way a bit. And then from like here. Okay, so it's still back. What, what happened? I. Okay, I still got it. That's what matters. Go way this way. Every time we have a free moment, I'm just going to get some sand. Get a few blocks of it. it seems useful. Ouch. It's fine. I've got golden carrots. Best food in the game. Um, yeah, I, um, there's a different poll for the end, so this will be invalid if you reach the end before the morning. Okay, we've got a new poll for the end fight chat, just so you know. Um, it will change. The Today is considered to end when we get to the end. Uh, if you like that wording. Oh, it looks like the day's about to end and the new thing's gonna take effect, so I've really gotta make the most of this while I can. Okay, right here. No! Okay, I've gotta get that. I don't want to lose an ender pearl. I got it. I got it. So now, um, it is officially day nine. I cannot jump today. No collecting experience, I think, might have been the harder challenge. I'm torn. Uh, I don't have a pickaxe with me. Oh, I didn't have a pickaxe before. So no jumping is a real nightmare. Um, to be stuck in a hole. What do we do? Chat, I don't have a pickaxe. I I should have thought about this, but I did. What? what can, am I going to break down on my fist the whole way? That seems insane. Dig to water. Oh, yeah. Dig to water. Dig to water. Smart. And then... And we can swim because swimming isn't jumping. And then we'll get a crafting table. Okay. Okay. That's the plan. We dig into water. I'm hoping we're near it. I can't see... Okay. Wait. Let's... What's the closest water chat? Do you see any? Oh no, there's no water near here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get a lot of sand, but that's fine. It'll help with the dragon flight probably. Um, if I can just get some water out here, I'll be doing great. No, no chat, I've, I've screwed myself <laughs> so hard. <laughs> there's no water. Okay, so I can't, 
If I can't jump, that means I can't make a pickaxe. Right? I don't have a crafting table or the wood. Um, I could... I could... Don't softlock yourself. Pull up. Yeah, I... I don't love it, but that is the... That's the way. Pull up is the is the solution to this. Oh man, chat, this is this is painful. You ever have to end a pearl because you're stuck in a free deep trench and you picked a you chat picked a silly challenge? I hope not. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pearl up onto this hill here. Uh, oh man, no 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 no. Okay, it's not gonna fall in this hole. That's what matters. Um, so we're gonna. Oh, okay, we're in water. In water, swimming is fine. There's no jumping in the water. Not a thing that exists. Um, you are just swimming. Can't it, try and jump in water, chat, while you're at the surface. Guarantee you can't. So there was a boat around here somewhere. There it is. We're going to use that boat to make a uh, a crafty table. So, and then we're going to need the coordinates of where we're for, because I was going to try and get on land another way, but I don't think it's going to work great. Don't blame us, says Xavier. You know, I'll blame chat all I like. It's all chat's fault. <laughs> um... You have to jump to leave the water, says uh, Alex Monroe. Not actually true. Daf Dasher definitely marked the location, says Psycho Bob. Yeah, yeah, Dasher, Dasher. Without Dasher, we'd just be like, well, I uh, guess, guess we're messed up. Gonna have to go watch the stream back. Get wood to make a bed in the stronghold with string. Do I have enough string to do it, though? I definitely, yeah, I know. I, I, it's worth trying to do anyway. I guess I'll, yeah, I'll use the um, the cobwebs in the, the, in the, in the library. Yeah, it, I'll bring enough wood for that. Walking up blocks is not jumping. Yeah, if I bring enough slabs, I could walk up blocks too, though. That might be smarter than trying to dig there. Okay, so this is my wood. My wood is amazing. We'll go to the library to get some string to make a bed. And then we can live a little bit more frivolously. And no... And and none of this will be there. Also, mate, so I can't reach 500 dedicated members before the end of 2024, says uh, Miss Pat Van Driver Lady. I'm thinking of doing a uh, another member fun. Um... This February, you know, like, uh, every now and then we do one of these fun, like, if the blank, then blank streams. Feel like it's been a, a while since the last one. Could be fun to, uh... I do think that if for every member we get, I'll mine a reinforced deep slate. It's a genius idea. But I also just, I feel like my genius ideas are never that genius. <laughs> I feel like I've had enough of them that have worked out not to be genius. For me to have to be cautious. Um... So thank you, Dasher. It's all good. We, uh, Rom, Roman Stone. I uh, agree there. But it's all good. You, you, it's a Sunday. Everyone's slow on a Sunday. Um, yeah, slabs and stairs will help us a lot with this challenge. If we can do it. I, it's. I've, I've never had to swim and break wood from the water like this. But we're going to do it anyway. Valentine's member drive. Yeah, I should do a Valentine's member drive, really, shouldn't I? Try and get some new wives on the most wifey day of the year. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'm having a good time. I'm about to get some wood, and then I can go in that chest even. Uh, today's challenge of not jumping is very, very brutal. Okay, I got the wood. We did it. And in the chest, there's nothing of value. Okay, so I can make a crafting table now, and then I can make some sticks, and I've got the iron to make the rest. I also need to bring enough wood for a bed, though. So let's go for it. If I remember, I will mine a trial chamber vault with mining fatigue free, says Dort. Now that, that's how I would lure in the uh, the members right there. Do you realize how long that'll take? I'm still in recovery from the desert wells. <laughs> uh, the desert wells was definitely regrettable. Make a bucket to swim up. Yeah, I think that would have been smart if I'd have just bucketed up here. Then I could get some slabs and some stairs and stuff. But then, then, my, then my lava... Do I need my lava... You need water in a stronghold more than lava, actually. What was the desert well, says Xavier? Uh, I made a desert well for every new member. Or maybe it was very tip above $5. It was a... It was a very, very popular event, to say the least. You already have a bucket. For every new member, must break a bedrock. Now, that's that's an idea right now, so now. So now. Okay, let's take a little drink. You need water for this challenge. And water for the end. Okay, let's let's go for it. I think it was just tips. 
Oh, okay, so we're now going back to 12, 63, uh, 23, 22. Getting, getting through a stronghold without jumping is surprisingly doable. It's very, you know, like, uh, give the, uh, give the stronghold designers some credit. They do meet the ADA Act. They've got ramps everywhere. Um, and so, yeah, we'll do great. For every new member, Toy Cat eats a Gira. For every new member, I'll eat a whole McDonald's. I'll eat a banana for every new member. How about that, chat? I feel like that has gone very well before. Um... I don't recall any times where that hasn't uh, gone according to plan. So 2322 is just up here, and 1213 is very close by. Let's use the water to swim onto the land. Very clever. A little sneak around the no jumping rule. I can't believe when I beat Minecraft with no jumping, there was no swimming. Such a, such a good uh, workaround. Okay, so... That is my... No, yeah, that's that's where I've dug into the ground there, right? So I'll swim here. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't need to make sense. Come down here. And this is the location we believe we'll find the stronghold at. So let's make uh, these things into sticks. Then let's make a crafting table. And let's make a pickaxe. And let's hope the one pickaxe is enough. I'll make a second anyway, actually. I feel like we've got the resources to not mind. Let's go! Okay, so chat, remember whatever you do, in Minecraft always dig straight down. There are never any consequences. It always works great. Some people say like oh no, sometimes there's a risk to that. But everything in life has a risk. The risk to this is actually very low. Very good things can happen when you dig down. Uh, for example, you might find yourself directly on top of a stronghold. You might find yourself directly in a very large cave. Um, one thing's for sure. The only losing play is not to dig straight down. The the most the most the the, the way in which you are guaranteed to uh, lose in Minecraft is if you don't decide to dig right down with no other. Oh, okay. We must be above a stronghold now. There's there's not going to be a big cave. We can be fairly sure, and we can be fairly sure because. Um, we, we're so high up now that the, the stronghold's going to be in the next, like, 20, 30 blocks. Hey! Here it is. Okay, we're going to be very careful about this. I found the perfect start of the stronghold. You love to see it. Did, but does it love to see you? Maybe that's the question we should be asking. Um, let's pick up some cobblestone. Hopefully, at the end of all of that. I already had the cobblestone. Okay, so let's let's flush away all those all those troublesome resources. <laughs> Make them not my problem anymore. And again, we got a we we got ramps here, so that's that's not again no jumping. Let's go. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna find the Ender Dragon's house. Iron boots. Iron iron. Okay, nice. No jumping required so far. Um, have I got Neverack on me? I don't, but I've got. It's fine. I didn't realize I got flint and steel earlier. Oh! I didn't realize you were here either. I'm going to use my pickaxe just because you are, it's there. Okay. I'm going to let you guys explode too. Just right now. Perfect. Um, not a jump, by the way, when a mob makes you do it. Probably abusable, actually. going to detonate those there just because if the... If a silverfish wants to come over towards me, I want him to die. And then we're going to sort out my inventory. I, I realize it's very messed up. It shouldn't be very messed up. That is bad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and slowly heal and harm myself at the same time. That was terrifying. But I am, I'm surviving. That's what matters. I'm alive. I've survived. And I will continue to do both those things. I'm going to make sure I have space for a bow. Go into a place where those are required. Gonna just um, there's a stack. Yeah, but this is this is very friendly for if you want to get around one of these without uh, any jumping. I don't think I don't think you really need to jump in a in a stronghold to be honest. I think it's a choice. Every jump you make is just because you feel like doing one, uh, which I don't feel like doing today. No jumps required. You know, what, chat. Yeah, you picked the you picked the weaker option. I don't need to jump at all for this. Having a great time. Uh, having a bull. Don't stop me now, that's for sure. So I'm going to climb the ladder, not jumping. 
<laughs> gonna open this chest, one of the weirder ones, by the way. And then we're gonna just go back down. Uh, I hear a skeleton nearby, but I'm fully prepared to, to murder one. Uh, oh, yep. See him. Is there anything down here? There is. Yep, that's a dead end. So as long as this is a dead end too. Quickly confirm. It is. Oh, it's not. It goes to another skeleton. And then there's another door. Another two doors, in fact. So again, not jumps when a, when a mob hits you. It's just knock back into the sky. And then this goes right back to here. So, all links in together, really. But this whole section has nothing for me. So I need to have some block out in this section. So we're going to get out the sandstone, I guess. I guess get out the sand. The sand is the least usable block in the nether. So we'll just we'll start using it now to indicate nothing here. And indeed, we've now confirmed every exit here has nothing. So this whole section of stronghold has nothing. And the way I love to do this when you're looking around is just say like, yep, nothing there, nothing here. Might be something down there. There's not. Might be something down here. But there's also not. So now we can just say this whole little exit also has nothing. And slowly, bit by bit, you can piece together a whole stronghold this way. It's the plan. Let's see how it works. Hey, we chose the weak one because we care. Um, says uh, Quibix Fix. You know, thank you. Appreciate that. If, if everyone cared like you, that'd be nice. Also, thank you, Marcat, for gifting a membership. Really appreciate it. I uh, hope you're doing wonderfully today. Um, I hope, in fact... Oh, what's, what's over here? Nothing too much. Um, I also mark mines that way. Yeah, a lot of people use this for mining. I feel, I feel like I've just had more frustrated stronghold experiences than frustrated mine experiences. But if you have, if you have any frustrated mine experiences, I can see why you'd immediately be like, I'm doing this next time. Not letting this happen again. So that's where I came in. Um, were there any other ways through there? Did I just go through the first one? Or did I go through the only one? Uh, I went through what looks like the only one, but you never know. Yeah, see, that's <laughs> why is Minecraft like this? Why do they hide the secret, the secret paths that they know we crave? Uh, I'm gonna replace the lead or the iron with some apples. It's gonna be great. Okay, so now we need some string. Sucks to use my sword on them, but it's the only only way. Uh, really, can't believe how limited my swords have been in this game by comparison to everything else. Replace the bone meal. Yeah, I don't have any vines now, so place the bone meal of string. And then get enough for a bed. Now we're going to have a place to sleep, which is a very big deal. Uh, I'm not homeless anymore, chat. It's a, it's a big, big day for me to be able to say that. Glad we're officially there. Then we can make free wool. And we're great. Um, so, yeah, very, very cool... A little find. Very bizarre that, like, you, people, if you didn't know about this happening, like, average, average Minecraft player, there's just, there's just whole parts of the fortress you wouldn't find. There's an ender pearl in here. Some iron leggings and an iron helmet. I think I should just go for the iron helmet at this point. Let's take off this one. Let's put, I don't know, the, the fire charge in the chest. Yeah, get, get a slight upgrade for the, for the ender dragon. Do you have wool? I've got wool now. Place a little fire. Oh, I found the second one. So I'm gonna burn this one down. Just you know, I've already got I've already got a library in my world. I don't need to. But this this library's hidden as well, so you'd never find either library if you didn't happen to know what I happen to know. Um replace the leggings with real better leggings. And man, this is a big <laughs> big stronghold. <laughs> gonna be gone for a while if I want to find the end of this one. Uh Man, uh, at least it's not broken. We can be fairly sure at this size that the end portal probably didn't go missing. But also, how do you ever how do you ever work out your way around one of these? How does anyone ever get anywhere? <laughs> so, um, Bedrock in general is janky, but has a larger group of players. It's an interesting point about um, if you think about the traditional thinking. It's usually that the higher quality product usually wins out in the end. Like a lower quality substitute will do well in the short term, but it's the quality stuff that lasts and makes an impact. But uh, that's the traditional thinking. But I mean, if you look at the, 
If you look at the number of bugs and the way it's broken, Minecraft Bedrock has a much bigger audience, right? And so that's kind of interesting. Um, how do you work your way around? Spectator mode, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that, if, 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 if you're the sort of person who is, is okay with that, I feel like that's a... It can feel like that is the logical way. Oh, man, look, look at this room. What is happening? Yeah, this is going to be the end portal room, right? Nope, it's... What is... Why, why is it like this? Why is there just a random wall here? That can't be ah design. I can't. Okay, that was that was that shouldn't be mining random blocks in the stronghold, unless you're pretty sure they go somewhere. But now we know this whole thing is nothing. We've been here and we've done this. So then we're gonna go back to oh I don't even know where 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 back is. What's back and what's forward? No no jumping has not been a downside by the way. I've, I've, I'm having a great day. Okay, so we can't stay down there because it's. Yeah, I, I am. I have lost the plot, chat. I'm back in this room. I'm gonna say there's nothing there. We know for a fact there's nothing there. So there's two options. We'll start over here because I've gone far enough that way that I don't know the point of return. So we know that there is nothing down this. Oh, there's a whole corridor down here actually. Please stop making me use up. I don't want to use up my sword, guys. I really don't want to. I'll use my shovel, I guess. It's a wooden sword that works also as a shovel. Um, so we'll just we'll just go a bit. It's crazy uh, how the only times you need to go up in the air are when mobs hit you. Okay, so look through here. Look through here. Oh yeah, there's a there's a lot of stronghold out around here. That's a baby zombie. He probably needs to die. Perfect. He is now dead. So we've been down here. I, I recall this little gap. Yeah, okay, that's what led to this. So we've been down here. Let's check all of the weird exits on this. We have to... This is a, a long, convoluted stronghold. But I'm willing to do, do it. Oh, through there is back there. Okay, so as you can see, it's fine. We'll quickly make sure there's absolutely nothing through here. There's a secret room again. You can't keep doing this to me, Minecraft. You can't, you can't tell me I've got to dig through all the walls. Uh... Because I'm starting to look crazy in front of all of my all of my favorite parasocial internet friends. Um, this is this is nothing. We can say that fairly certainly. So back we go over here. This is also nothing. Fairly certain about that. So then this whole thing also nothing. Now we look back here, and we say, oh come on, please just 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 could you just not? If you just could not, that would be great. So this whole thing is also a dead end. So we'll put a little sand block there. Have we been down here yet? We have. What was the conclusion? The conclusion is it goes both ways. One of the ways is up here. Um, okay, so that this all connects in together. There's one last staircase out of here. There's also this over here, though. So we're going to have to go here first before anything else. What is down this staircase? Is it anything exciting? Is it the end portal room? No, it's not. It's just it's just a creeper. Exploding, making a bunch of silverfish appear. Don't don't love to see it, to be honest. Um You look uh the usual amount of crazy, don't worry. You know, thank you. You know, it's it's good. My 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 the internet parasocial strangers that hang out with me as I play Minecraft are agreeing that this is the okay amount of crazy. Uh we're all good. We're we're, we're golden. Okay, so now we just have to go. I, I just don't want to deal with spiders. I don't. I don't believe in their authority over me. So we go around this staircase, which leads me to this staircase, and we go down this staircase. That's where the end portal room must be. Nope, it's a freeway room. The left goes to. Oh man, it's so, <laughs> there's so many branches on branches on branches here, chat. How do, how can there be this many? How can I ever sort my way through one of these structures? This must be somewhere I've been before. It's not though, it's just coincidentally a whole nother room. Whew. Okay. We can do this. We'll start on this room. We know that all of its branches lead nowhere. Therefore, this is also a dead end. We know that that branch leads nowhere. And we can see that, there we go, so that's a dead end. Just every time we reach a branching point, we make it very clear that we've seen it's a branching point. And eventually we'll find the end portal room. I don't know how, I don't know why, but we will. 
The stronghold is worse than all our challenges. <laughs> I, to be fair, you know, like a, a bit of a maze before an, a, a dragon fight can be like just the thing, just to get you in the mood, make you realize uh, that there's like this is kind of what people talk about when they say the trial chambers should do something that's a bit more special than what they have right now. Um, I think it's a. Uh, Oh, wait, where's that? Is it through that? Do I see it? Do I see it? No, I don't. Um, I think people, when people are talking about like a maze, like there, this is actually a maze structure. It, it sometimes doesn't pull off the vibe correctly. There's no way it's down here. That It sometimes just makes you go in big loops that go round and round in circles. <laughs> but um, yeah, it has to be set, I guess. The, both these exits go nowhere. This goes nowhere. And this goes back to there. So this whole thing is a dead end. Uh, this is also a dead end. So now everything off this branch is gone. We never need to go down there again. There's nothing for me. Where is this stupid thing, says Randy Clifford. I'm glad people are feeling that with me. We we have gone through some stuff together. But we that's, that's the beauty. When we find the stronghold after all of this. When we find the end portal room, rather. Uh, won't it be beautiful? For the journey that we've gone on. Wouldn't it be better because of the journey? It's all about the destination, not the journey. Is what people don't say because it would be incorrect. Yeah, let's get some Minecraft. Oh no, what did I just do? Ooh, really messed something up there. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. Um, so let's let's quickly, let's get some Minecraft. Let, let's get some nostalgia going. Uh, I'm going to get my, my favorite music going again. Just a little, a little bit of classic. Let's 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 bring the actually yeah, even better actually let's um let's play everyone's favorite um bat okay let's go do 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 oh yeah let's do it so frustrating watching him skip past things yeah so my I'm trying to like take this on a level my brain comprehends right so this whole thing is nothing it's all dead. And we know, so we just like place one each of these. And we know that's all nothing, which means we now know this entire branch is nothing. It means we can just go over here and say that's nothing. Let me know all of this is nothing. Oh my god, I I, I generally haven't spent this long in a fortress on a stronghold in a while, but I'm I'm gonna choose to take this as a positive. At every opportunity you have in live chat, you choose how you react to it. Um. The example I always give is people who get mad and they decide to punch a wall. You can be relaxed. You can be upset. If you think you're not in control, you are just, you're relinquishing control. You are always in control. As a human, you decide how your brain, you, you decide how you react on a conscious level. There are some very unconscious responses that no one has the ability to control. But th th this isn't one of those. The... When when you are react when you when you are presented with a challenge uh, that you are not expecting, it can feel annoying, or it can feel like an opportunity. I used to punch holes in the walls. One hundred percent not worth it. Yeah, that's. Uh, I I'm glad. I'm glad you say so, Johnza, because it's it's one of the most objectively ridiculous things to do, and people who will do it will defend like, no, I just got so mad, I literally can't. It's like the uh, they had a class for people like that in my school. They're like anger management. You need to learn how to manage your anger. And it's like, you just need to learn not to be that angry would be the step one. But it, yeah, if you really couldn't, yeah, the step two is like, when you get angry, you should not be trying to break things. Um, any, like, that's a learned behavior that you need to unlearn. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like it's one of the most basic things to say. Okay, there we go. Light the zombie on fire. Make my problems go away. Okay, so I am just going to aimlessly walk around in circles till I find it now. That is my strategy. I've I've tried this sand thing, chat. It just it's it's not working for me. Um, no library yet. Either is pretty weird. I found both the libraries already weirdly enough. Um, okay, so this goes nowhere. Lock it off. That goes nowhere. I'm I'm gonna run out of sand if I'm not cautious about this. So this brings me back here. That whole branch has nothing. Um, confirm it has nothing by going through here on the other side. It's kind of confusing when the stronghold has multiple paths that will go to the same point. 
yeah, in this case, I'm fairly sure there's nothing all the way up to here. There's nothing all the way around to here. It's kind of nice, these like little completed paths make you realize what you've gone through and what you haven't. So this entire point up to here, I've done, if I've really been that way, then yeah, that is now, there is, there is no way of it being down here, which means there's no way of it being down this staircase, which means if we go up another staircase, not down there either. It's a bit annoying not having torches, right? Is there an easy fix for that? We got, we have sticks and we have coal. We should just, wait, why, why won't they combine? Wait, is there something wrong with my sticks or my coal? Coal sticks. Why is it not a recommended recipe? Chat. Do you see that? There's no, there's no, could I type in torch? Okay, I could, but it's not here. Should it be there? <laughs> okay, let's just, um, let's do this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do this. The end of moving your sand, I bet. Oh, that's a funny thing. Yeah, if there's an Enderman in here, he can totally mess me up that way. Very funny to imagine. Okay, so... This goes nowhere, that goes nowhere. This whole branch did not lead me to the stronghold, to the end portal. Oh, um... Yeah, yeah, uh, Imbinska's podcast was exactly about this topic this week. Anger, good listen. Sounds like a good one. I, uh... I think one of the worst human attributes we have is anger. I I can't overstress enough. Oh, we found it! Yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 excited. Do you, do you feel like you're in a in a cave, by the way, right now, chat? Do you feel like you're in a about to go on an epic battle with your friends? I feel like it. Okay, so we've got one last day challenge, which is for the end. I'm just gonna break this, by the way. Um. So our last day before the end is over, now we have one final challenge. The challenge is um, fight the whole fight with a turtle or get an elytra first. I see why I would need a lead. <laughs> Big salmon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are both horrifically hard. Going to the elytra first, that is a... Uh, 10 minute journey if you have the blocks. I don't have the blocks. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can go to the <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so let's 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 work on this. Let's not let's not dilly dally. If we mine stone uh we'll have to mine end stone. Okay, yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna make a thing first, a bed. Desperately gonna make a bed. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the bed to make sure that my spawn is set. I'm gonna be extra sure because I've not done that before. And now we can go to the end. How is the turtle not winning? What says Big Salmon? <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I need to bring the crafting table with me, otherwise the challenge falls apart. Um, oh, okay, we're good. So let's go to the end. After he beats the dragon with a turtle, he has to kiss the turtle. I am surprised that beat the whole fight with the turtle did not win. But you know, chat, day day end, it's going this way. So I'm I'm accepting your judgment. I need to bring. Oh man, I I don't know how this is gonna work, chat. I'm just gonna believe myself. I'm just gonna believe. I've got I've got the fireworks for Elytra, so it's all it's it's fine. Make a new sword. Oh yeah, if I've got a crafting table anyway. Um, making a sword does seem smart. But I can't make any sticks. Uh, how can I make, how can I find sticks in a stronghold chat? Um, how could I do that? What could I, I'm just gonna use my shovel as a, it's the chat that loved Jeff in the end. You know what chat, you've, you've made a decision. I'm gonna make this work, library. Oh. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't wait long enough to hear your responses. <laughs> Probably should have in retrospect. Um, so we're gonna place a crafting table there, and then for some reason we got we got night vision end, which I love. Um, so before we kill the dragon, 
Are we gonna go out? I mean, this is the this is the dumbest. Okay, you know what? We can go out all the way to the Elytra, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna turn up my render distance just because this is this is the time where you really want it high. Um, so, uh, render distance. We'll just set it to 80. That should be enough to see what's out there. But um, like this is this is the dumbest time for me to go out to the Elytra. I'm just saying. Um, weird sky. So if, if you're curious, this is a, a real long journey out. It's a 10 minute thing. But also, oh, the problem with it is, uh, oh, you got the daytime end, says a uh, rain butterfly fan. Yeah, it's a, it's a rare, but a nice one. We can go all the way out there. You can even see from here um, an end ship if you pay close enough attention. However, uh, now we're going to experience the funnest aspect of end gameplay, bridging over the void. <laughs> um, I think if I if I get lucky enough, I can throw a uh, ender pearl from like, I know, 80 blocks away. Why did you guys vote this? Yeah, chat off oh, my favorite biome, the start. <laughs> I, uh, it's it's going to be such a journey. Such a journey. And bear, bear in mind, it's even less fun than it, it sounds now, if you can believe it. Because what we actually have to do, let's make some sandstone slabs now. What we actually have to do is we have to mine the blocks first, because I didn't go in with a bunch of wood. If you prepare with enough wood, it's one thing, right? Also, how did some chat? What is wrong with my end? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> okay, so this is also this music is perfectly fitting. Uh, so, okay, chat. Something is something has gone horrifically wrong. It's a beach biome. Yeah, so this is this is uh, okay. You know, these chat. You voted for the for the end, given that we're clearly in the start biome. I am. I. This is not what this is not what anyone voted for. Uh, you gotta you gotta vote again. Am I the am I the British government after a 2016 referendum? Because I don't agree with the electorate's decision, and I'm gonna make sure. Oh my god, what what the heck is happening here? <laughs> There's no Enderman! It's just all zombies! <laughs> do we, how do we start? Okay, so um, if I the, the best best is, is that, yeah, this is the start biome, it's not the end biome, so it's daytime, and it's using the beach biome to decide its rules. Which means we need to place these torches down to prevent mobs from spawning in the center. Um, and now we need to fight- I, I think this might be harder in some ways, okay. Uh, we have to take down these towers and fight the dragon. Um, without, oh, without our usual crutches. Uh, keep the golden carrot. Oh, getting beaten around a lot. Yeah, this is, this is such a different fight. It is not what I, it's not what anyone signed up for. But you better believe I'm going to see it through to completion. Okay, we got two golden apples here. We got four regular apples. Those are the food source. I've also got an iron axe. That is the, oh, I gotta, I gotta have this out. Um, okay, got the iron axe. And I've got the bow to shoot down the towers. Gonna do my best to do that, but it's really hard. Honestly, Enderman are way less brutal than these guys. Okay, so it's real loud. Always forget about that. Um, shoot through the head. I've got arrows this time, which is great. This is this is this is insanity, chat. I just there's too many hostile mobs here. <laughs> I can't I can't fight them all. Okay, did we get the head bug? We didn't. We have to shoot through the neck just enough times. Make sure this works. Um, okay, we definitely got it in there at some point. But now I'm being, uh, I'm being ender uh, quite a bit. I'm gonna crouch. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, how am I getting hurt? I've got the shield up. Did you see that, chat? Uh, we're gonna try and get the skeletons to hurt each other. I don't have enough shield to just go forever. Uh, oh, this is terrible. I hate this so much. Ah, this is so much worse. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, I need to eat a enchanted apple. I'm gonna eat the golden apple just to survive. Um, no, there's another. Okay, okay, just get out of that. Um, I'm just gonna eat this so I'm not dead. This is terrible. This is this is the worst. This is the strangest end fight I've had in a very long time. <laughs> Should have got your elytra. Yeah, I clearly clearly that is. Also, look at the dragon. It looks so ridiculous from this angle. <laughs> the wings aren't flapping. <laughs> oh no. Okay, shouldn't have laughed at her. I deserve this. Um, so, uh, yeah, getting up there is going to be a bit of a challenge. But we need to do it. So we're going to do it. Um, dragon is about to fly into the center. Let's let's do it. Let's go. I'm going to use my shotgun sword up just like I use it. And it's gone. 
I shall, I'll save it for you. Whoa, gone already. Oh, she, she did not want to stay. She had a, a prior arrangement she didn't realize she'd signed up for. Um, that's okay. It happens to the best of us, Dragon. So is she going back in again? She is. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. Even even on bedrock, it's not usually this fast. But if you want to if you want to do this, Dragon, I am going to support you. I'm not going to support all the skeletons though. I don't like them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna still try and take down the easiest towers. Um, I, I don't see any really great... Oh, no, another one? Yep, let's do it. Um, I want the dragon to kill these skeletons. I don't know why she's not programmed to do that. But she really should be her. Um, come on. Skeletons. Yeah, the skeletons are programmed to kill each other, though. When it comes to it. And you better believe it has. Let's make a mushroom soup. Oh, I, I need the food. I need the food to do its job. And I need you not to attack me, ideally. Okay, just just eating it just to stay alive. <laughs> Uh, am I am I a hit song by the Bee Gees? Because I am definitely not staying alive right now. Um, okay, let's let's go. I believe very strongly that I can do this, and belief is eighty percent. Okay, so this axe is going to go down, right? But I've got two pickaxes, and I'm, I don't need them to go out to any any islands right now. I what I need instead is uh, is that my last bowl of soup by the way if it is I don't know what my plan is <laughs> I really really don't know um, okay let's get away I somehow managed to avoid her on that one I think my last food source now is a golden apple so I've got to really work out the best time to use that and it's a it's a harder challenge than it sounds like. so I'm gonna have to crouch in for a bit and hit her once and then let the skeleton attack the zombies. Come on, skeleton, attack the zombies. Go, there we go. And eventually, the fight will start perfect. And now, while that's going on, I can just do my thing. Just go for it. Come on, just let me in. Just, oh my god. <laughs> okay, get out of there. Now is the time to do it, I think. Now is the time. If it doesn't work now, it never will. Uh, we're gonna pick up some rotten flesh if it comes. Yeah, ro rotten flesh in the end dragon fight. What's what's not to love? Um, and then, then, then that can be our, our source of food from here on out. Um, going in with the, I'm gonna finish off the sharpness sword just to get it out of here. It's somehow surviving, but the dragon is certainly not. Okay, um, free rotten flesh. That's technically food. Um, on a on a technical level, I am surviving. The few towers I've taken down have done a tiny bit of help. But most of this is coming from me. Actually, what if we get a creeper to explode near the dragon? Chat, don't you think that'd be a fun way to finish the dragon? Take advantage of this type of world. Okay, you know what? I've decided. It's too fun not to do, right? It's too fun not to. Okay, we want the skeleton to attack one of these skeletons or something. Uh, sorry, to attack one of these zombies. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So, I'm going to get lots of the damage down myself. Um, switch out my fist for a couple hits, maybe. Okay, so the, dra the dragon is very close to dead as it is. Um, then we're going to lure a creeper over here. And, okay. I've, no one has ever done this legitimately for any good reason, I hope. But what I think we're about to do is a bit of a fun first. So that's a creeper about to explode. Oh, it didn't. Okay. We need to build, like, a pedestal up, maybe, if we're going to do that. Uh, I'm gonna punch one more time. Make sure she stays. See if there's another creeper nearby. Um, uh, chat, my dreams. They're leaving me. Okay, there's a creeper there. That's, that's my last chance. If this creeper doesn't work, it won't. Creeper. Come on, creeper. Ah. Creeper. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you can you can come over here. This is your time, creeper. Ah. You, you, I hope I haven't lost the end dragon fight for this. But we're bringing her in now. We're bringing her in. Let's do it. Okay, eat another one. Get away. Okay, this. So we have to build a platform up. Um, maybe. That's 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 what I'm thinking right now. And we can just. Okay, build a platform up to the dragon. Finish. Oh wait, what? Why did she fly away? <laughs> Why would you do that? Um. Okay, I am. I might have given up my chance of Ender Dragon victory solely to have a creeper do it. And I honestly, I have no regrets. Um, 
I mean, the re besides doing it, that's I regret that. But I don't regret like what I ate for breakfast this morning, uh, thankfully. Okay, so we just have to make. <laughs> okay, just oh no. Okay, it's it's impossible. Creeper explosions don't kill the dragon. Oh no, and even do I today. Um, let's just get in there. Come on, let's just do it. Let's go. Oh, I wanted it so bad to be a creeper. I just figured like. If the creeper can't do it in the air one block above this, when can they do it, you know? But I have just beaten Minecraft on a challenge that was an absolute <laughs> a certified beach. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed coming along for the journey. And if you have, then I guess I'll uh, say one last thing, which is that if you haven't already subscribed, it's unlikely at this point, but consider doing so. I do a lot of fun, silly challenges and uh, maybe slightly deeper, more insightful mi Minecraft uh, talk than you might see elsewhere on the internet. This is a, uh, uh, a wild <laughs> thing that we've gone through together, but I hope you've enjoyed your time because I'm going to go enjoy a donut. Um, if you uh, want to become a member, help us get to 500 by the end of the year, consider doing so. Uh, maybe even on the next stream, which will be on Tuesday. Because for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you for Seed Sunday. Assuming it's out. I hope it's out.